And they can have my things when we're dead But we gonna live forever And the boys cast in the flesh, <laughs> fucking guest in the building, yes. local, uh, local something, <laughs> legend. local this international legend, international will, fucking legend, dude, international superstar. Call him. Uh, <laughs> call him. Do you <laughs> consider yourself a high value or a low value? Uh, that's male? a good question. Is call oh, high get, value or low? Are value you a high male? value or a low value male? Without a doubt, high value. High value male. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going. So we we, feel we found this um, dating subreddit. Mm. No, there's a new one too. There's a there's a witch subreddit. Yeah, I where saw girls that. Post I go, about witches. Yeah, they go. Mm. They're all witches. And ninety percent of the one them post is like this fucking dude's a piece of shit like does anyone have any good spells to like oh mess God. his life up <laughs> the spells <laughs> the spells yeah yeah and that, that was legitimately a subreddit of chicks yeah. that's what I've been it's saying like, a lot on stage it's, is that, it's always like say these things and then fuck his brother yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's the it's the magic behind it. how do I fuck his yeah life here's up? a spell text his brother at 3am hey you up <laughs> Yeah, and then go get, over get some eye, eye, eyes of Newt, and then uh, uh, accuse him of sexual assault. Now, <laughs> these are the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the big spell for them. Is it? <laughs> the biggest it's, spell. It's like the Me Too spell. They're all behind <laughs> it. They're all, they're all around a cauldron. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they put her in like a fucking like just a piece of like uh, <laughs> like Harvey Weinstein's hair, just like in yeah. the cauldron. Like, and then Boop. they just spread <laughs> this spell. Vicious gonna... rumors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's the, the third ingredient is you need to tell everyone you touch you inappropriate. <laughs> a dash of Alyssa Milano, just a little. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <sighs> they. Yeah, no, this girl, she, this is the first one. It's like a girl that she wrote in and this is her like big problem is um, how do I find therapists that are safe to talk to about feminism and sexism? So the bit is that basically mm. she's gone to nine different therapists and every single therapist is like, yeah, I mean, you're obviously the problem. And she goes, <laughs> how, why can't I find a therapist? Yeah, the therapist is like, have you ever considered working on yourself? And she's like, you're fired. Well, I like these because yeah. I always love when the one of the real world becomes a sketch because I did this sketch with Coran that was um, basically thera the like therapist that just tells the world to change, mm. and that's what this person is. It's a girl. It was the every New York girl? It's like you go to nine therapists and you go. Yeah, I don't know if therapists are just all fucking morons <laughs> because you go yeah. there and you go. Yeah, well, I can't go to work because of sexism and feminism, and that's why I can't get a job, and that's why I can't get a boyfriend, is because everyone's fucking sexist, misogynist. And then, woman, and then the therapist goes, "Well, maybe you should. You could try to. You know, there's things you could do on yourself too." And you go, "Whose side are you on?" Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's basically like you know the fucking people who are like addicted to pain medication, and they yeah. just go around from doctor to doctor just trying to find the one doctor that'll be like, "Yeah, I think it's believable that your neck hurts. Let's get you some yeah. oxycontin." In the waiting room is just full of yeah, crazy it's all just women. Like every person in just, the waiting room is just a, scratching their neck. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> crusty women. <laughs> well, that's what they want to do is they want to go back to like their boyfriend and be like, see, yeah. I fucking told you. Even my therapist agreed with me. Even if I had to find 95 yeah. to get to the fucking bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, I am considered a horrible person for being extremely stressed and angry about sexism that I cannot avoid or escape in any capacity. Yeah. It sounds like she just needs a friend. Like, cause like, that's what friends will do is like, you'll go to your friend and she'll just agree with everything. Ideally gas, they don't. Gas you up or whatever. Well, that's what I've been sort of saying recently where you go, someone, a girl will be like, yeah, I was telling this to my therapist and you go, okay, then why am I hearing about it for free? <laughs> <laughs> kind of feels like this is already something that got figured out. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, I want to talk to a therapist, but I don't want to say, I don't want her to say these issues don't exist or are nothing to worry about or even worse that I have to control, that I have quote unquote control over the sexism affecting how I feel wow sort of the equivalent of uh, going uh, like a kid going there and there's like I went to nine different uh, fucking psychologists and not a single one that will just admit my imaginary friends there <laughs> he's fucking he's in the fucking yeah. room and every single one of these therapists is gaslighting me and to think that yeah. fucking Brian's not in the fucking kicking around with us they let anyone be a therapist these days I guess Oh, now he's taking shots at Danny's girlfriend. <laughs> no. It's true. It's, she did a fucking uh, weekend course. Yeah, but no. well, the problem is the therapists aren't the issue though, because the therapist is the one telling her. It's like, yeah, I mean, there's probably stuff you could do, and then she's like, these fucking therapists. I want to hear her examples. The I therapist don't. is actually reasonable. Well, her examples, they don't get to any of the examples. Of course. Because if you hear the examples, <laughs> it's like my boss is a piece of shit. I go, showed what? up an hour late the other day, and he was like, can I talk to you? And I was like, no, you misogynistic. Fuck. That's a lot of the yeah. a lot of the threads in these things are like my boss is a piece of shit, and then if you read all the examples, every mm. single one of them is like he microaggressed. We were talking. There's a. I don't think we covered it, but she goes. This girl was her whole bit 
was that I like to bring sexism and racism to my uh, to my fucking boss. So she goes, every week she goes to her boss and she's like, listen, there's four or five things I need to talk to you about. Like Toby fucking said something sexist in the elevator. And then uh, I, some of the copy in our, our, our like weekly seminar has been uh, mm. racist. And the boss was like, okay, just we'll deal with it. But apparently the boss told her to calm down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amped up chicks do not like hearing calm down. How funny is that? She got me. To, she got told to be calm down in her weekly seminar. All right. <laughs> uh, he goes. All right, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling her what's racist. I, I love that this chick though. That she goes. The only outlet I see is going out and trying to live off the land alone. Because she's like, she hates like sexism. You go. Yeah. Good luck with that. Just you're gonna go fucking work the land. Wait, what? <laughs> And, and like she, goes, she, goes, she goes until I fail and die. So she's like, she she like knows that it's not even gonna work. She's gonna get out there. She goes, ah, that's like this farming stuff is pretty tough, huh? Okay. Yeah, she's screaming. She goes, wait, so your food doesn't just grow instantly? This is like a whole. Yeah. I have to wait a year. I have to go back to the therapist and be like, po- listen, poisonous berries are so misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll never guess what happened. Yeah. There's misogyny in the forest too. Yeah, the deer ran away from me. Yeah. What a sexist. Yeah, piece she goes. Of shit. You know what? I guess I really. <laughs> I guess I am more of a gatherer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out really, there. Yeah, the yeah. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> this bunch of deers ran away from me because of fucking the patriarchy. <laughs> um, okay, the Seth Rogen movie. So, uh, did you watch yeah. the trailer? No, it's a show, no, by the way. It's so, it's a show. It's really yeah. bad. And basically, so Seth Rogen's the king of bad takes right now. Period. Oh, it's just every time he shows up, it's just disappointing. Right? It's always something. He's he's Seth Rogen's Mister uh, getting your car broken into his normal right now. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah. He's, I mean, the people who still love Hillary are like they still love Seth Rogen, but the, like you real overlap there. He of, goes, yeah. of people with like I'm with her shirts and being I'm like, with him or I'm whatever being like yeah I'm fucking this is the best show I've ever seen so, in my life mm. basically what happened was Seth Rogen he, this is the articles Seth Rogen says his HBO Max series Santa Inc. has pissed off tens of thousands of white supremacists so basically uh, he released this series and it's like if you watch the trailer it's like all of the fucking things <laughs> it's like he, honest to god we were sort of discussing where I don't know if the idea is that like people in Hollywood they go hey you have to write this thing it's gonna be like you know about this like lesbian elf and all this Le- legitimately what it is is all the Santas or basically they make them uh, like an old hedge fund boys club oh, the and Santas? they're like covering up rape <laughs> for Santa <laughs> and Santa's literally like a straight <laughs> White alpha male, like okay, and that's bad the, guy. In the trailer, it's all that. They go, Santa, these are some of the things they were like, Santa doesn't even, uh, he fucking, he's been a, it's been a straight white males game yeah. being Santa forever. And then they, on top of that, they go, uh, he goes immediately, he goes, yeah, I guess that we got a, we got a, a good situation or a bad situation. More pe- less, more people believe in Santa in this country than COVID and the Holocaust. Oh. Yeah, said. Santa's making everybody smell his fingers and shit. He's a real bad <laughs> well, guy. That's yeah, he, has a, he, has a, he has a lock on his desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has he the goes, Matt Lauer yeah, fucking yeah. button to lock the door. <laughs> Can you send in uh, that new elf we just hired, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is sort of funny that, that Santa's this piece of shit. If it wasn't <laughs> draped in like the all of the stuff. Like if they uh, just made Santa a piece of shit, it's like kind yeah. of funny. But Isn't that what the Mel Gibson movie is? But that's what I mean. It's always the... The piece of shit's better to watch when it's like you know, t- like an antihero, like Tony Soprano's but a piece of shit. But also, it's Santa, mm. and then they come but, around yeah. and they're actually good. Like guy. that's why it's funny that he's a fucking piece of shit right. because yeah. it's Santa that's Claus. Like bad, yeah. bad Santa was so funny. Yeah, yeah. Because the juxtaposition. It's the juxtaposition. But then at the end, they always kind of come around. Whereas this one is going to come around where like they probably they finally murder him. <laughs> I don't know what happened, <laughs> yeah. but you know what I mean. Like yeah. the moral of the story is going to be like Santa gets his act yeah, together. Yeah, he's going. He's, I mean, he's, doing, his, he's doing jail time. Santa. <laughs> I mean, in, in real happy ending. Yeah, like the real way this plays out, like in terms of real life, is that Santa's like, yeah, I'm going to be more woke. And then he's like, I'm going to like give this this elf a shot and we're going to make them. S- and then the elf is going to like, basically Santa's going to say something wrong and the elf's going to send Santa to like the fucking gulag where he's going to die. And he's like, I was trying. And they go, yeah. <laughs> that's kind yeah. of the way they kind of it should. Down. It's kind of how yeah. it should. That's he how it should work out. He learns his lesson. He comes out. No, he doesn't learn his lesson. He's, he actually is like getting ahead of the whole thing and be like, you know, I'm going to like be progressive. I'm oh. going to bring this person in and then 
then they're going to turn on him and just get rid of Santa. So the basically it's this girl elf and it's like, well, why can't a fucking girl elf be Santa, yeah. right? By the way, I, I would love the idea of just like a chick coming down a fucking like <laughs> chimneys, like four million <laughs> chimneys. And you're like, yeah, after probably 12, they're like, what happened to Santa? And they're yeah, like, Santa's in the fucking trunk chicks. of a car. <laughs> if you're listening to this chicks, you'll never be Santa. You'll yeah. never just just be able to go down quit a chimney. It right now. <laughs> quit it right now. If you're Don't sitting even. at home thinking that there's a chance you'll be Santa, it's not going to happen, pal. Yeah. But Father, so, Father Christmas. I mean, is Father Christmas, I mean, dude, right? there's gonna be so many times where it's like the chick Santa is gonna be like to the reindeer, be like, oh, "We gotta get out of here! They're coming for us, trying to like rape us and shit." <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's trying to catch Santa. Yeah, everyone's trying to. It's like oh, Santa's a hot chick now coming yeah. down your fucking. We did gay people. Santa last time because they did one where Santa's gay. So they essentially oh. that every fucking place was like <laughs> they just say they go we have a gay Santa, we have a girl Santa, we have. A, yeah. They went through all the different things and just, tried to make a movie about each one of. Cri- crippled Santa. Yeah. The worst part about this show, too, because I watched like one. Crippled night. Santa would be incredible. <laughs> he goes, This is our new Santa. He's got no arms. He's got yeah, no legs. No, he has no arms. But he's well, a, he'd be he, like, he, he'd be like Handyman, where he tries to remember the. We talked handyman. About handyman, where he tried to like go out the when you'd fly away and he'd yeah. fall out the window, but this he'd be falling down the chimney. He'd just be like, no, he'd be like holding onto the reindeer with his teeth. Like, and he's like, he's like, you know, and you see, that's pretty impressive. He's quadriplegic Santa. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, hey, uh, can you uh, fish your gift out of the bag? I can't really get it. Yeah, he just falls down the <laughs> chimney. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that, so basically the new show has like a 3% audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. And the mm. whole thing was that basically... It's the same thing that ever. It, it really is like a who done it of of like who's triggered because he's kind of like they're all fucking triggered. He yeah. said we uh, we pissed off tens of thousands of white supremacists with our new show and uh, available on HBO Max and uh, and then he goes oh they posted that the data series launched so his whole thing was like people anyone who doesn't like my show is a white supremacist which yeah. I also want to yeah. say that anyone who doesn't like the boys cast is a white supremacist yep. anyone yeah. who said that Danny's bad at sex is a white supremacist absolutely I mean I, I don't like that show so I guess I'm a white supremacist that's a fact like, dude the worst yeah. part about the show too is I think they tried to cover up for like how just bad the premise is by they sw- it's super crass and like they swear they're no, all no, like no, no. they're You're like you they're like that. you cocksucker and like no that's because this is the thing with the guys like Seth Rogen it's like you know, he's kind of like you're. Tr- I'm not triggered. You're triggered. Yeah. And then the people are like, "No, we're not triggered." It's like funny to downvote your movie, kind of. <laughs> which it right. is. It, which it is. It's so funny. But he's kind of like, "No, I'm. You're. No, you're actually pissed off because I'm. Because all of his thing forever was. You know, I can't believe they let us make that movie. Like he. He's like, we're edgy boys. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's yeah, 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 for sure. But like that show is they're like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swear so like to the point where you're like We're you, edgy boys. Yeah, we're edgy boys, but you like you watch and you're like, this is like even excessive. I know that it's uh like maybe like, oh it's funny, it's a cartoon, they swear a lot, but you're like, yeah. that's been done a million times before. No, because it's like if you're saying that okay, we're gonna make a, a cartoon, but the message of it is like we want to make like sort of an edgy thing, right? Yeah. But the message of it is like you better be the nice least to people, edgy right? thing on it's, earth. The, the message is the same message that like Bank of America is saying. Well, right? straight, straight up, you go, yeah, they swear a lot, but uh, also white guys are bad, right? So if that's your message, the well, fucking thing has to be. This is how you like, hey. I don't give a fucking shit who's fucking listening. White dudes are fucking bad. And you go, I'm sorry. You couldn't handle the F-bombs, white supremacists? I'm sorry, white supremacists. So that's what's kind of going on. Because the weed thing isn't really... Cause it be, that's Although I did actually see one thing where the straight up like you know like I guess they use the term Shabbos goy in the in the thing because so I guess I didn't even here's the thing I went to fucking Hebrew school for like nine years I had never heard of this term before but, and so they're like do you know I had to look it up last night so it's the term for um, Orthodox people they hire. Uh, Gentiles to like do stuff for them on Shabbat because they're not allowed to like oh. you know touch the stove. Or yeah, whatever. the Jews are out I've, handing out stuff I've done the last that. couple of days. I've done that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I guess there's a term for it, and then I guess oh, the there? people who are like hate the Jews, they really don't like the term because they like they're like offended. They go, "How dare!" But it's like Jews are straight up. They're like, "Why don't they like it?" What's the what's the translator? Probably it's like literally like dirty a, dog well, turns well, off no, light or something. No, it's like it's it's yeah. you go it's Hell when they hire, it, if anything it's like the sweetest gig. You go. 
yo, here's fucking twenty dollars. Can you turn my stove on? And you're like, yeah, fuck yeah. But like, but why I, wouldn't I do this? But they they're like, what what? Like that's all what? we are to you is we're just yeah. these fucking Gentiles who are here to just turn your. St-. They're like, yeah, for money. I don't know. Oh, I did. It but for- they they don't like it. They don't they don't like the term. I'd never heard of it until I did it for free. So yeah. what did you do? Did you do, oh you didn't do paid for it? What I didn't know was oh, you thing. I was I, I, yeah, you were just walking. They down saw the me street. coming. They saw me coming. <laughs> and I was just walking down the street and some guy was like, yo, can yeah, you come to my house? Our buddy, yeah, I was like, no, you psycho. And then I told my friend who was just like a regular Jew like yourself. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, it's like this like magic bullshit that they believe in. Yeah, so I went in, insane. I turned off the lights. The kids were all there, like the children of the corn. Yeah. It, yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was spooky. It was a nice house. You turned off the lights or I on? turned off the lights and turned off the, the stove. Oh, it was okay. a Friday night, I think. Yeah, yeah. So they it's were always on Friday night, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then That's they gave, ins- But they did give me some bread. They gave me some. Our buddy did that, and they gave him a water bottle, and it was okay. like they go, "Here's a bottle of water." Yeah, but it was already open. It had been opened, and it was just tap water that they had <laughs> filled up a fucking plastic bottle. And of they water. had probably taken that empty well, bottle from a- the trash <laughs> somewhere. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was the worst. <laughs> he goes, uh, "Thanks." <laughs> And you got a piece of bread. They just give you a piece was, of bread was, and they was, say, get the fuck out of here, you well, Irish it was, piece of shit. Well, actually, I went back Dirt. in I went back in with my friend who was Jewish. And then he was like, yo, come on. Stop it. Of, yeah, I swear, I swear. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's not true. I swear. Shut up. He goes, yo. We're, we're, He's like, yo, give, give us some bread. And I, I didn't. <laughs> why I swear, do you want I bread? I swear on everything that is holy in the world. But why did he want bread so bad? Because they, he could smell it and they were just cooking it. Oh, something. they were making like challah or something? It, yeah, 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 it was yeah. fucking good. It was, good. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. fucking good. Who was your Jewish friend? A comic called Will Posner. So you went in there. I was, walk, I was walking to an open mic past one of the Jewish neighborhoods in Williamsburg. There was a guy outside. They saw going, a soccer comic. He goes, come into my house. I was like, no. I told my friend, I go, yo, some creep was trying to get me into his house. And he's like, no, he's not a creep. He's an Hasidic Jew. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right. Okay. And, okay. And then, so I was like, on the way back, if we're still, if he's still there, we'll go in and do it. So he, but he came with me, my friend, but he wasn't allowed to do anything. My, my Jewish <laughs> he friend. He can't do it. Why? No, because it's a, it's a sin. It's a sin to get a, a <laughs> But Jew. even if he's like, I'm a bad Jew. No, no, no for them. Yeah. yeah oh, to yeah, get a oh Jew. not for that guy. Oh, that'd be the best to just be like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, do turn it. it. And, and then and they they turn go, off and go, I'm Jewish. You're fucking rubes. And you walk <laughs> and then out. Then goes, we are sneaky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Enjoy now. sitting in your forbidden darkness. Just to prank him into hell. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a fun fucking prank. That is pretty Dude, that'd fun. be like actually a fun, pretty That's fun prank. That's actually a funny thing. That's like, a not bad prank show. It's, it's a just yeah. like prank Hasidic Jews on fucking Just trick them into hell, being going to the hell. Yeah, you thought I was a Shabbos <laughs> guy. I'm just a Shabbos Jew. <laughs> You'd have to be Jewish to probably get that show greenlit. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's yeah. that's a YouTube. That's <laughs> yeah, just that, one that show ain't getting greenlit. How, how long do you think that? You think the ADL would like that show, pranking Jews? <laughs> I mean, if it's another Jew doing it, what are they going to do? Yeah, that's the whole trick, right? The last allowable white guy was the like loser bearded white guy. I'm not I'm not gonna <laughs> uh, tattoo. Well, tattoos and a beanie, um, and that's you. <laughs> I got no tattoos. You, you are you, sort of that because there was a moment where you never really got to thrive in it when they were like, "Hey, fat bearded white guys are the thing." No, I was yeah. I was late to that, and then by you the time like you could I, be I, Seth Rogen's brother. Oh, and then yeah. by the time it was like maybe we're gonna work out, they're like, "Yeah, white people are not really," and I go, "All right." Those guys got to keep their jobs as long as well, they, they were already the in. Yeah, yeah, they were mm. already in. But you never. But the, it's over. Right? Like the, the the era where people think the like fat bearded guy is funny is like almost I don't I can't think of a recent one <laughs> no. You just missed it. You I, just, mean, I mean I need just, to be in a wheelchair. I need to be in a wheelchair to even have a chance. Yeah. When, <laughs> you need to get fatter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get like probably t- tack on a hundo. So fat that they just like his opinions don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> is that yeah, what yeah. you're saying? Well you're just, they're they just excuse. like no it's so fat that I'm becoming like in a you're I'm, not, I'm in a protected class. You're not white now. anymore. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, the, yeah. Like you're I like my yeah. obesity trumps my whiteness. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just insane. It's like sure I said the N-word, but I'm four hundred pounds. Yeah, so. guys, I'm a fucking minority. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, just I'm not that. even I'm not even allowed to fly in this country. <laughs> can I, I mean say, I am but I just can't can I say down the plane. Can I say about that movie? I, know, I did see that there was like the, the tagline for it or whatever. It was like, uh, an elf, a, a female elf wants to be Santa and she'll do anything, even if it means fighting like a man. And it was like, <laughs> oh, so, so your whole premise of this movie is like, a girl can do it if she embodies all the best qualities of a man. <laughs> Every movie is always like, she can do it too. By acting like a man, <laughs> by like having, acting like every average man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you could just embody yeah. the up uh, the fullness yeah. of yeah. a real 
average just everyday <laughs> FedEx worker <laughs> that she could accomplish just anything maybe show a little bit of ambition you know <laughs> ask for I don't, I don't actually don't get, ask for a raise first <laughs> yeah, of all yeah. maybe start there that movie we've talked about this before but that also movie or show is a classic thing where like that actually should have been a movie that's like 90 minutes that's crazy and that it's like and it's like a series so you're like they, they took like probably a movie that would not have been good mm. and then it, you know tripled it in length essentially like, to make it episodic <laughs> yeah. right yeah. you're like this should not have been a fucking show like zero mm. people are fucking finishing episode two and they're like do you want to go to sleep you're like I, I we got a yeah, marathon we're, uh, this. binging the Santa <laughs> Inc. show <laughs> it's a six minute video at the yes. beginning like like succession just a real long drawn out into the episode you're like yes there's right. yeah you just like fuck we I got, got this yeah no just let it play out let it play out I love this <laughs> <laughs> it gets me jazzed yeah Lady Santa I love it <laughs> Lady Santa <laughs> There is so that's what I was saying. We're not sure if this is like in your the, the whole premise is like you know what? Let's make the just most like if we can mm. hit every buzzword and yeah. like every buzzword meme. If that could be like the entire thing every, for the entire fucking every five seconds, you're yeah. hearing a new toxic something yeah. word that you've heard a million times, or because all of the writers that are like successful writers that get these gigs they have to do this stuff so they're like okay fine but this is gonna be a hunk of fucking shit yeah like I'm gonna write this the way that I write copy for like a commercial yeah, poorly yeah. yeah just comes home drunk and just like oh, let me just bang out an app like, I gotta just, bang out yeah. my episode of fucking Santa yeah, yeah, whoever, whoever, say who, something say something trans, yeah. yes 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 <laughs> whoever, whoever <laughs> exactly. wrote it was like can we do this under a pseudonym I don't really want my name attached <laughs> also, to they this they made it animated possible. so that they can keep up to date in case there's like a latest scandal yeah. of like there's like not enough Asian whatever they're like just make I'm that sure. make, make that oh, person yeah, Asian yeah, just yeah, like yeah, last yeah, minute yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, can we just like just filter it <laughs> change the color of that character quick 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 and they were sort of not happy that, that was one of the things that some people weren't happy about is they were Christians a lot of people were saying then they go well, they, they were Jews if, yeah they Jews were Jews because they go well what if you know which they are I mean, also, right I guess well, like, wait till you, you find out like a Muslim movie where you go we're making all your fucking dudes chicks yeah well also I mean, uh, again, the, the people on the fucking... We're making like, all the Jews... They don't yeah. make it... Yeah, make all the Jews. Who Jew do you think tricks? wrote all of your precious Christmas songs? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, almost all of them are written by Jews. Dudes, I think, right? Hot or cold? Was it dudes? Dudes. It was Is all it? dudes. Yeah. Really? Wow. Fuck yeah, I remember... I feel like you were mocking us, and we were like, yeah, that's, a, that's a good song, that these guys. No, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. there was just... Forgot. I remember my like my dad was like, yeah, you know like these all these songs are written by Jews? And I was like, that's weird. Like what one? Like... Like I don't know, pr- I don't know, like all of them. Wishing uh, a ride, Christmas, Christmas, like uh, yeah, baby, it's cold. Like, uh, like pretty much, I, the I'm, original. Not, I'm not saying a hot gold Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They go, it's not really resonating in America. And they go, what about white? Really? So mm. you're saying I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them are written by. But Jews. it would be sort of funny to be like, oh, we're you know. The best part is every time you guys are fucking at Christmas on Christmas Day when you guys do your shit, where y'all mm-hmm. have the nog and you go, let's just do mm-hmm. a song, and then some mm-hmm. Jews fa- family gets a nickel. Wow! Just for what royal do you mean? royalty. No, every I'm oh, yeah, I yeah. get it. But, but I mean, they do like when you hear it in the mall. Like yeah, and he plays in the mall. Like that's like his family just got a nickel. What, what, funny. Some Jews family just got a. What other like religious holidays have you tried to? make money out of I imagine there's like a whole thing sitting around look, look at, they're all sitting around with a pen looking at Ramadan trying to come up with some hits um, <laughs> I can go what else can we do? Uh, I mean we invented Kwanzaa via the CIA okay uh, nice I don't know I, I think it's mostly Christmas I don't I mean, that's you've been focused on that one well that's the thing well, you, that was you where the money's Jesus, at. it's like alright yeah. well you know what I mean Hallmark. jokes on you because we're gonna make all the money off of it yeah, yeah. It's like the wire. If, if you follow the money, you just it gets back to the juice somehow. Yes. <laughs> Always just. I do love the idea though of being like, just being for very progressive reasons. You go, hey, we're making Buddha like a fucking chick, and we're making, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, you know what I mean. We're making, we're doing a Mohammed. The funny is, it's going to be trans for progressive reasons. Yeah, yeah see how that goes. Do I don't know. Do they have? Do other places have like things like the Easter Bunny and Santa? Or is it only Christians that have all these like weird shit? Yeah, they. Have, I mean, Christians took it from like who else? Ha- well, culture. what other religions no, have like a guy and a like the you know of, of fairy tales like that I'm sure they probably all do right? I mean, you have none of you are you're having trouble naming them N- well I don't uh, care about that. I'm trying to think for Judaism if they have like <laughs> I, I, I mean I, one. I'm, I'm not like a, a I'm fairy? not a good Jew at all uh, I'm trying to think yeah. for what Jews have 
I mean, because I think all of them are actually based on Yo, people. Yeah, when you're smashing who, that like button, comment down below if yeah, you yeah, know yeah. of any. I've had some stuff where I said stuff about Jews and people are like, what are you talking? I'm like, yeah, I'm not that good of a Jew. But uh, <laughs> I think they're all based off of theoretically, like they're all real people. Like I'm thinking of the most, like there's like Purim, which is kind of like our Halloween, mm. but then that's still like those people are meant to have existed. Yeah. So, you know, that's only the Christians that were creative. Are you saying the Easter Bunny was come up with by a Jew? Uh, Maybe. I could see the Easter Bunny coming up from just some fucking like Park Avenue, like uh, just marketing firm in the. Ooh, yeah, it was, just a, it was just a restaurant in Pittsburgh came up with the idea and it just yeah, yeah, spread yeah. across. Yeah. Well, um, so this one, it's almost who cares about talking about it just because like it was so. Lo- it's been like for the last two years, everyone's heard about it. I couldn't even believe it's back. I but thought it was Jesse, over. Yeah, the Jesse Smollett trial. Oh, yeah. I, w- I read like a bunch of articles about what's going on right now. And you're like, he might be like the fucking sickest dude ever. Just the fact that two years later he's dying with this lie. <laughs> like to me, yeah. Like this is this is the guy that got book cheating. And <laughs> he has me. all the evidence. Yeah. He, he, he's, shaggy. He's, he's doing he's going full so shaggy. shaggy. So what he's being charged <laughs> with what? Just like making a false well, police report? That, so I thought so it's kind of complicated. So basically, he was getting busted for this whole thing, and then he got charged, and then the charges got dropped, and then they were like suing him. The fucking police department suing him. Okay. And there's all these like different components of it, right? Is this a civil trial that he's like? Is he just trying to just not pay money at this point, or is he? There's like, a, there's like a couple different ones going oh, okay. on simultaneously, but the the one that's going on right now, I think, is the one from the FBI. But I, don't quote me on that. But the, the funniest part is like. I was like, so what's his defense, right? And in my mind, I was like thinking it was going to be some complicated thing. And his defense is straight up like, nah, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, I didn't lie. I don't know. <laughs> they did actually rob me. Yeah, they did rob nah, me. Dude. They did put the noose around my neck. <laughs> yeah. And I kept it there. They, they screamed MAGA, MAGA. This is MAGA, MAGA. country in Chicago. Yeah. yeah and then <laughs> get out of here, Jesse. <laughs> it's get incredible. Out. And. So he's straight up going with, like, just down with the lie. I respect it. And that's yeah. what I was like, <laughs> his part of me is like, is there anyone in his life that he's kind of like, fuck, like, whoa. or is every, is he gaslighting, like, the girls in his life? Or they, like, his boyfriend right now, is his boyfriend being like, come on, though, really? And he's like, oh, you're against me, too? Like, oh, yeah. He, <laughs> he's going to his therapist. But the trial that's going on is fucking incredible because, so this is, <laughs> okay, so. The first thing that happened was Jesse Smollett's lawyer claims that the judge lunged at her when she asked for a mistrial during this, and she asked for a mistrial know, because know. of it. Yeah, yeah. So she was out there talking, and then she he says the judge like made her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flinch. He goes the judge. Okay. Oh, two shots. <laughs> yeah, made you flinch. And it was all over because she was like, <laughs> I, I guess yeah. she was interrogating one of the dudes, <clears throat> and then I guess they got like their text messages and stuff, and then the text the, the guy was like calling someone a gay lord. Like oh. these were like they they were yeah. like they were like so you were making like. Uh, homophobic slurs and he's like no, like you know it's just like joking around like calling someone a so they're saying, and, then, and then they're trying to use it as proof to be like yeah because of these texts you did all this stuff that's what mm-hmm. they're trying to say that the fucking that one of the guys so they go the first thing is just, yeah so he hired a lawyer that's basically the same as him uh-huh. where he comes out and the lawyer and he's like everyone jumped me and then the lawyer's like I'm getting fucking jumped too <laughs> they're against their whole team right imagine a mistrial like you go look this this whole ca- like ca- case should be thrown out because the judge lunged at me like how those two things are the really- judge has to try it was on case no and the judge is like what are you he's like that's like he the judge even said he goes what is like world are you living in where you think that I'm going to th- declare a mistrial like how are you even asking he for goes, this ah, you're because right. you think I lunged at you and he goes yeah, yeah. you're right I did do that you're right like imagine yeah. you're the fucking yeah like, you're fair my bad you know I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always lunging and yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I got spatial issues I never know if I'm getting in people's I just, personal I just spray. fucking see red sometimes you know I'm sorry <laughs> fucking yeah no <laughs> anyway he's got a stress ball being yeah. like I'm sorry yeah <laughs> That's what it was. And so basically, yeah, they're trying to say that the, the, this, like the, I just love the fucking, it reminds me of fucking the OJ trial sketches where the lawyer goes, you know, point to who did it and then he ducks. <laughs> the sketch where they go, because their whole thing is they go, the guys that did it are homophobic. They go, so the the person, Walker, who's his lawyer, girl lawyer he went with. Yeah. Girl uh, lawyer. She yeah. seems like a, right, kind well. of like a female uh, Jackie Childs. A little bit. That's what, right. yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like Jackie Childs. She also produced a text exchange from Smollett's alleged accomplice where he referred to a person as a fruit 
fruit and a gaylord. So they, <laughs> so they go, they, cause, so basically, <clears throat> and then the judge was kind of like, what does this have to do with anything? Because they go, <laughs> yeah. he basically says, two white guys uh, put a noose around me the whole thing they were like yeah he paid us to do it We g- he gave us $6,000 we have the transfer and then he goes then the lawyer gets up and she goes well if that's all true why did you come to someone of fruit and do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally you go, this what? guy who cut you off in traffic you <laughs> screamed the home of well, public slur okay so you say that Jesse Smollett gave you $6,000 to beat him up well if that's true I have a fucking uh, transcript mm. Have you in high school calling someone a gay lord? <laughs> Can we pull up the Facebook post from 2007, please? It's Facebook post from 2007. Yeah, yeah, they, so they, yeah, they like bring in some kid who he bullied when he was like fucking 11 years old to be like, he called me a gay lord. He and called me a fudge. The fudge-packer. judge is like, I've heard enough. This is, I declare fudge a Fudge packer. Do not use the word fudge packer in this court, please. That's what he's basically saying. Was, yeah. Fruit is not even... He was like, I said I was hungry for some fruit. And they're like, no, no. I mean, the best scenario in the world would be if this all of this actually happened and there are these two white guys who are just sitting back watching this whole thing with fucking cigars. <laughs> yeah. <They're> like, <laughs> just <laughs> this is some the best sh- shit ever. We some, got away with it. These just some fucking, dive bar. They go, not only do we hate black people and gay people and we fucking did this to this guy, but now we're fucking over these other two black guys. Dude, you know, this is like, the, this is winning so hard for them. They're like, look, <laughs> we're like, we're fucking everybody over right now. <laughs> That's Charlie Sheen numbers. Yeah. Oh, this go. is like insane. Like they're, Mm-hmm. Best case scenario, they go uh, the guy whose name is very hard to pronounce. Alabij, pretty solid name though. Alabinjo Asandarindio or something like that. <laughs> he goes. He told the court that he wasn't a homophobe, uh, like just his lawyers claimed he was. And then he'd worked at a bouncer as a gay club. And he testified that in 2015 he dressed up as a Trojan warrior and went out to Pride, handing out condoms and flexing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you know, his lawyer was like, we got, we got to bring up the fact that you dressed as a Trojan. I know. He's like, Can we? Is there any way we don't have to bring this up? <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what I'm he's like, thinking. Yeah, is there, can I please yeah. not use yeah, he's this like, as I, my defense? Yeah, he's like, I didn't You're get to make rent <laughs> that one month. Your Honor, so... how could he be homophobic? He is a fruit himself. Yeah, yeah. And there, <laughs> is there another thing where they jerked each other off in a bathhouse or something? That's <laughs> what they said. No, 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 I swear. No. I'm not. No, <laughs> it's the wildest trial. <laughs> it's like it nothing, has nothing to do with anything. Oh, yeah. He's like... <laughs> like, like I jerked off a guy once. Like their final defense too is they like bring him up and they go they make him just like kiss a dick and they go yeah. see see he didn't yeah. fucking recoil at all he liked it. He's not homophobic, you're honest. So therefore, Jesse Smollett. A is homophobic good. person would have recoiled in disgust when they kiss this person's <laughs> penis. It, Jesse Smollett's lawyer is fucking him. He's like he's, this is or no the, <laughs> sorry oh Ad, Alabinjo oh, right. Alabanjo. <laughs> I love the idea of his lawyer going. We listen. That's go, what it is. Go home this weekend, pull up the gayest stuff you've ever <laughs> done. Just ring around, ask your friends, what was the gayest thing you've ever done? Just give me all the evidence of He's you like, being... I don't, I don't know. If he goes, think! He's like, this is your fucking life on the line here. And he goes, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's like, yeah, I, I, went, I, I went to Adele once. Is that... <laughs> He's like, not good enough! Not good enough! <laughs> it's like, I've been to Adele, I'm not gay. He goes, did, neither am I! <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever go shirtless for Halloween? <laughs> I need something like that. Give me something. He's like, I blew a guy once. Uh, oh, where, he really is. He, was, he, he basically was forced to come out of the closet. <laughs> It's so funny. Isn't that great? Dude, I'm telling you, because <laughs> <laughs> he basically, the fucking lawyer is in his face. And it doesn't even really that relevant. He's like, listen, I have the transcript of him, or like the bank receipts of him giving me the $6,000. We yeah. have all of the things, like all of, basically everything checks out on our case. And they're like, but it'd really help if you sucked a cock. Yeah. Also, no, more importantly, it's just like, the story makes no sense to any fucking like critical thinking person. You go mm. like none of this adds up. So this is obviously like what happened. Like the fact that you're ex- yeah. like, going down with it. You're like <laughs> I respect that he's going down with it. <laughs> like but- he's still saying these two. Like it's the OJ thing. He goes, they're the real fucking people are still out there. Yeah. And, like Jesse Smollett in ten no, years. No, Jesse Smollett's saying it's them. And listen, I don't know if you. Oh, heard- oh, he's now saying it's there wasn't the white guys. <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? This is why he, so that when they said, well, then why did you say they were white to the cops? Mm. And his answer was because uh, he thought that they were doing white face. So he's, and then they posted a photo. They found a photo where this guy dressed up as white face. Like he did white for like a Halloween costume or something like that once. And they were like, look at this guy. can't stop painting his face white. Imagine a black guy with his face painted white. (laughs) 
<laughs> but not only that, but it's like these, these two <laughs> like white chicks. <laughs> well, white chicks might be passable. It was a legitimate guy with white paint on his face. Not and, a, and he has that. But it's like it's again. two people he knows. It's like two and he knows them. two Jack Nigerian guys yeah. who you're friends with. But they're and then they go. Why. They put a little white face on. It's like fucking <laughs> Superman shit, where it's like the glasses they, are on. You're like, I have no idea. Who this do they is. have like a have? Are they like Nigerian? Nigerian like heavy Nigerian accent where they're like put this noose around. I think, yeah, they are. Yeah. It's like just some white guy comes up and goes, put this noose around your neck. Yeah, with like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a Nigerian like, what, accent. What a maga accent this guy has. <laughs> so yeah, his story doesn't and then the guy if because he still says he's not gay that's the other thing right so he goes yeah i'm not gay but i'm not homophobic and it's like they're which like is, well you're which sort of one is it no because that's what he said because <laughs> yeah, i'm sorry there only be one of them <laughs> red, red pill blue <laughs> he goes yeah he testified that he dressed up she's like i'm not gay but yes i dressed up with my shirt off and handed out condoms at the gay bride parade and then Jesse's attorney suggested that Jesse had a sexual relationship with them, the other the le- the other guy, uh, and the pair masturbated together in bathhouse. Wow. Jesse's just spilling the beans, isn't I'll he? I'll tell you what's happening. He's like, you're not gonna come at me? You're not gonna th-. he's like gossip. He's just a right. classic gay gossip guy. <laughs> Jesse is saying to him, like, hey, you know what I mean? There's lots more where that comes from unless you just admit that you did it. <laughs> oh, I just remember the other guy fucked me in the ass, actually. No, yeah, yeah. No, I just remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're basically outing him, which is the, yeah, it's, the, it's a catch-22, essentially. It's like, you have to prove that you're innocent, but like, it, you're also... It now seems like know someone dead. needs to just be like the Jesse going, stop, this is serious. <laughs> and he's like, no, he's like, this guy fucked me. And he's like, no, no, this is yeah. a thing now. Stop it, Jesse, please. And he just keeps no, fucking... This guy sucked my dick and he was wearing white face and yeah. he put a noose around my neck. And, and he's like, these were your friends? He's like, yeah, they were my friends, but it turns out they're homophobic. It's I like, showed like, the, the attorneys too are like, I can't believe we make $500 an hour to just do this right now. Just be involved in this is nonsense or whatever. This is like some sort of thing that like, it's like children reenacting a court case or something. Where it's just, this would be a fun one to be on the jury. For they're just so. making shit up as they go along and they go, yo, he has cooties and shit. And, yeah. and then the guy has to come out and he's like, I don't have cooties. It's like, what's this got to do with anything? Oh man, if I was a juror on this, I'd just be like, yeah, I've, my mind's been made up for the entire time. I'll be talking to find an impartial get... juror on this bad boy <laughs> yeah, someone who missing a brain well so the girl it, yeah because there's lots of good factors there's the all, whole undertone of like everyone's calling everyone gay but then on top of that the fucking the his girl lawyer who keeps accusing the, the judge lawyer. of microaggressions essentially the, <laughs> the, the lady lawyer the lady she goes <laughs> oh, wa- the snarling. walker she goes oh was reported close to tears after the judge after the judge rejected her motion that there should be a mistrial so she started crying Imagine a guy lawyer and you go, I demand a mistrial. I don't like how you kind of lunged and then they're like, I'm not giving you a mistrial and just like breaks down in tears. I I don't know why you're being so nasty about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like imagine if you're like a lawyer and you gotta be like, Yeah, I'm not fucking hiring the lawyer who broke down in tears in a courtroom because of like not getting your way with a judge <laughs> yeah you're like that's like w- the most unprofessional shit well you want to hear even some more unprofessional shit yeah so after that happened i'm telling you this thing's great after that happened she wanted her mistrial she started on the tears and then she left the courtroom with her mother who was also in attendance oh, so yeah. the lawyer's mom was there for some why is the lawyer's mom yeah, in she goes, you, she's in the back she goes you can do it i'm <laughs> proud of you just for support <laughs> support like when your mom comes to fucking <laughs> if you were a lawyer and your mother should have been like, get the fuck out of here, mom. It's yeah, so like, boring. Why are you here? There's That's cameras here. crazy that her mom's at the fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great out. You look great. Yeah, just yeah. like, not, not even paying attention to that. And she just goes, you look great up there. She you no, know, she goes up there and she goes, that, you lunged me. And the guy goes, I'm not. And she goes, mm, and then she goes, and then she goes the, hug her mom. Yeah, the mom's at the back. She goes, I, you lunged. I saw the <laughs> lunge. And he goes, order in the court. And it's just going fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, the mom's mean mugging the judge the whole time. <laughs> okay, so this is the next. Kissing her teeth. If you, no, but look, it, the, 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 Picking the lady lawyer is just like, a, like look, we're losing anyway. You fucking get up there. You know, it's like throwing in that like retired kid <laughs> off the fucking bench at the last <laughs> last game of the season. You go, what have we got to lose? Come on. Just, <laughs> it's fucking 10 nothing, And you got to pop, yeah, yeah, pop on there. Play center. Who cares? Why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do whatever. Say the guy wore white face. I don't care. And then, uh, she, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just throwing Hail Marys. <laughs> say the guy, well, yeah, well, maybe the two guys. Well, why did you say these two black guys are white people? You ever heard of paint? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but he knows the guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have accents, though. And it was like, yeah, well, maybe they fucking were faking that they were doing a, <laughs> They were doing white guy accents. They were doing white guy accents. Do you think that's like one of the fucking, like, you know, how, how uh, lawyers will do like these tricks to kind of win their case and they bring them in, like, in white paint? And he mm. goes, can you point out who was there? And he's like looking around. He goes, I don't. Oh, these guys like they don't like <laughs> just fools them so badly. They're bringing in deaf and white paint guys too, and they go. So this is even better. The brothers in Smollett also sent himself a letter to the Fox studio where Empire is filmed a week before the attack. If he did, he faces another five to ten years in prison in prison for a federal mail charge fraud. So basically, this one he sent the Fox studios a letter, and it was like. We want to kill. Hey, we're gonna kill this queer Jesse Smollett. Oh, but they're saying he just he sent it. No, it's a, so in addition. Yeah. So he also he didn't just hire the guys. He re, like he was really dead set on his hate. Wait, crime. He was, hold on he, a second. He, is it? It's a crime to send letters saying you're gonna kill people. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Uh oh. When's he gonna go? His ex girlfriend fucking gonna have a case now, isn't she? What about, I didn't know. What you, I didn't know you can't fucking met, like. Send letters to movie studios saying you're going to kill certain actors you don't like. <laughs> it's amazing too because like five million people sent letters to the White House being like, "I want to kill the president." And people are like, "Yeah, you can just put that in the incinerator. We're not going to do anything about that." I did that with the cerebral palsy kid in Breaking Bad. I wrote in, I was like, "Get this guy off!" <laughs> I got honestly, dude, <laughs> you've left me no choice. That was a, such a different era. Yeah. So I'm asking you I, I, nicely now. The next time you won't even, I won't knock. I won't <laughs> an, be so polite. An able-bodied guy, fucking that guy doesn't actually have cerebral palsy. Right? Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Yeah, I thought he was I playing. Think he does. Oh. They've had people. That used to be the how you get an Oscar back in the day. My left, my well, left. Well, Daniel the, Day the Lewis. Dude, yeah, and the dude who played fucking. I love you, Mary. Um, the Stephen or Hawking, right? Yeah, you play a silly man. That used to be the that used to be the oh. the, the code. The silly man is that what you call it? That's a <laughs> that's a Hollywood code for <laughs> spaz. It's a bit of a silly role. <laughs> I need more of a silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> have you ever played a silly role before? And yeah, so they said it was the and you know the other thing that was funny is the cut and like those articles, those places were writing articles because I was looking at a lot of articles about this and what there was like tons of articles being like. The mentality of why would anyone try to fake a hate crime? And it was like, really? After after all this, you guys still don't get why? Yeah, what's the incentive for a hate crime? Attention. Or for, for faking. Likes. Well, yeah, they wrote all these articles being like, what's the incentive for the hate crime? And it's like, yeah, you don't really get it. Why? The, 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 the riches that would come with this? Yeah, I mean, if it was real, you literally yeah. go from a supporting <laughs> actor to like, hey, we're going to give you yeah. your own spinoff as the star of your own show. <laughs> just Lee Rolls. Yeah, yeah Lee Rolls. You're, yeah. you're the new Tom Hanks. Well, what did that letter say? And it was just like, hey, I'm not, it was like, and it was clearly like a, a 5 a.m. Coke binge orgy poppers all of his no, ideas no, no, no. Are, all a lot of, of i imagine all of his ideas where he's naked with other men and they're yeah. all just fucking nuts and they're just like write a letter yeah and they're just like <laughs> coked out of their head fucking each other it's like wild <laughs> that's exactly what Still, it was it was at the bath i was jacking each other off it's like we yeah. yo, this is the fucking move yeah I, I, I think it's still to this day going apparently too the two guys the two black dudes went up to him and this is what a part a legend i can't remember where this came from but basically they said hey we'll say it was us and do the time if you pay us like a, a crazy amount of money like oh. we'll we'll do the five years and agree that we did actually do this to you, but mm. it's gonna fucking cost you big. And, and apparently he was like, "What are you talking about? I've never met you before." Oh. <laughs> like he's, you know what I mean? He's like, "You oh. know, you got the wrong guy, motherfucker." Oh. <laughs> they didn't. That was probably a misstep for that. That was bad. Yeah. Mm. He thinks he's still going down. He thinks they're still going down for it. But that's the thing. He, the gay men thing. He's he's black too, which is solid. But the gay men are sort of. Uh, it's not that high of a thing on the totem pole anymore. No, no, no. no. Like there, there's not a lot of persecution for it anymore. Like they're, they're not. The uh, gay man, it's, it's very similar to the Jews thing when someone tries to be like, oh, because I'm Jewish, like anti-Semitic or homophobic. You're like, yeah, no one's homophobic. No one cares. You know this. No one yeah, gives no a shit. Go. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick second here to tell you about one of our sponsors, Skylight Frames. Now, the holidays are just around the corner. If you're looking for the perfect gift for your loved ones, Skylight is the perfect gift for you. So this is a touchscreen photo frame that you can email photos to, and they appear there in seconds. So your loved ones, anyone that you, you know, mom, dad, grandmother, anyone that you buy this for, can see what you're up to and feel less lonely and more connected. So it's a real special gift for special people in your life. You've got to check 
check out Skylight Frames. Skylight Frames, it's a photo frame that you can instantly update by email. A great way to feel close with your loved ones, even when you're separated. It sets up effortlessly in just in under 60 seconds, so you just plug it in and use the touch screen to connect to your wireless network and then enjoy. So, multiple people can send photos to the frame. It's a great way to keep large networks of family and friends in touch. Skylight Frames is a gorgeous 10-inch touch screen, and you can swipe through the photos with your finger and even tap thank you to the person who sends a photo. So, I think it's a pretty cool uh, Christmas gift for people. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love the Skylight, they'll offer a full refund. I'm personally going to be sending a few of these bad boys out. So, um, now it's a special offer. You can get $10 off your purchase of Skylight Frames when you go to skylightframe.com, enter code BOYS. That's right. $10 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame. Skylightframe.com and the promo code is BOYS. Skylightframe.com, promo code BOYS. And now we're also going to tell you about FitBod. Now, if you want to look like two hunky, straight, just jacked boys. Boys. Just jacked up. <laughs> if you want to just be friggin' jacked with FitBod, it's the beginning of the new year and it's never been a better time to get in shape. But we, if, you know, if you've been balancing work and family, everything, it's hard to make it a priority and you need a program that works with you not against you. So start the year right with 25% off a FitBod membership. It can be demotivating. You look at these celebrities out there, you know, dorks like The Rock, and then we got to look in the mirror and say, but I'm just a cool boy with a huge dong. But I maybe even, even though I am laying the pipe, I don't quite have the body of some of these people. Sometimes you get tired laying the pipe. That's and the you problem. You got the pipe to lay. You have the pipe just don't to have lay. the stamina. They don't have the stamina. And that is a problem. If you, and if maybe it was your New Year's resolution to get in shape, something like that. But fitness isn't about comparing yourself to others. So don't do that. It's about working to become a little better than you were yesterday. So I actually really like this app and there's a lot of very cool things about it. You know, one of the coolest things is it all, you can make programs based on what you have, you know, what the, what machines are available, what weights are available. And especially if you're on the road, it can give you body weights. There's lots of, and it can also update it so it doesn't get boring. So their algorithm uses data and analytics to build on your last workout and maximize results. Whether you exercise three days a week or twice a day, every workout is scientifically proven to be better than the last. So FitBot even tracks your muscle recovery and balancing your workout plan with a variety of exercises to avoid overworking certain muscles. So kick the new year off right and get started with a customized fitness plan from FitBod. Get 25% off a membership when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash boyscast. That's 20% off your membership at fitbod.me slash boyscast. Well, speaking mm. of that. Not like they used to. So this BuzzFeed article is perfect. So basically... It was a a bunch of like girls and lesbians. The lesbo community got together, yeah. And the lesbo community basically did uh, a list of th reasons why, like, uh, ten reasons why. Que what qu it goes? What queer women want gay men to stop doing? Yeah. And basically, a bunch of lesbos were like, "You got it, two fucking good gays," yeah. and they really give them the gears in it. Yeah. Too. Oh yeah. Gays are getting lumped into the just like the guys suck thing. Well, think about like. Well, that makes sense. They are, yeah. and so yeah. many. They were impervious for a bit, though. They were, dude. Like, they were like yeah. guys suck, but not gay guys. Eighty yeah. percent of like popular Republican like commentators are gay. Yeah, and I'm not even saying in the closet. Like, actually, there's so many of them. Yeah, and the other twenty percent are in the closet. There's some. <laughs> it's a hundred percent. There is a few Republican that, commentators are gay. A lot of them <laughs> get commented. A lot of them do get accused of being in the closet. I started thinking that. Um, oh, fuck was it? There's something like. Uh, Fuck, can't remember. <laughs> Fucking in, I'm in the closet bit. <laughs> but they go, okay. I've been told by, this is, I'll go, I'll go through some of them. I've been told by gay men many times that I have it easier as a lesbian because it's more accepted. Being sexualized and being accepted are different things. So basically they're saying, which is, yeah, I, I'll give them their first one maybe where you go, um, I'll they have it easier if you're a lesbian, but I do believe it more when someone's gay. Where someone a lesbian comes in, and you go, "Oh, I'm like a lesbian now." You go, "She's a, whatever." Yeah, you she's have to literally be holding. You have to be holding like a hammer for me. You're like, yeah. right? Like you gotta have a tight haircut. Yeah. How many girls we know that came out of the closet? And you go, yeah. Okay, sure you are. Sure you are. 
Sure, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, when it, they're like a pretty twenty-one-year-old. Yeah, call like, me when you're getting married to a fucking dude. No, it's, yeah. the problem with the you know, the thing is like you instantly believe a guy a guy's gay, whereas like no the, with a woman, questioning that. We're, we're a woman. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, I'll see you in ten years, and I guess we'll see. But until you, until ten years from now, I'm not going to believe it. Until it's mm. still, dude, I know specific girls that came out of the closet like re- whole big thing like I'm a fucking lesbian their whole Facebook and Instagram profile was all about being gay here's me and then they, they were like kind of the decent looking ones and then they had uh, like the hot like they, they had the not hot like the butch girl yeah, yeah. they'd have their girlfriend there with the tool belt and the shaved head and they're like I am gay married to a dude yeah. like <laughs> yeah that's over well if that's the type of girl you you might as well just go to you don't see just that go, just go to often it. the other way around though where it's you know what I mean the guy that was just like fucking on the scene and then now he's just like married to a chick and he goes ah no that was, that was something else <laughs> I was I was yeah. myself those years <laughs> Go on, yeah. just buy, and you go, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Gay men say it's easier for us to go in public because we're women. They seem to forget that as a woman and a lesbian, my fear of being injured is very strong. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you ever heard of somebody named Jesse Smollett? <laughs> hey, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> The idea that women are just women. How many women are walking around with nooses around their neck because someone fucking said it was MAGA country yeah. and poured bleach on them? Okay, but more importantly, to say that, like, I'm double. I'm, I'm f- walking, you know, just like, even just walking, I'm going to get fucking murdered, most likely because I'm a woman. Like, one in two times I'm dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd say women, like, the way that they're describing it is like, most of the time I get murdered when I go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> they always do. I got murdered. Yeah, I'm going to like, Best Buy, wish me luck, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going out I get murdered uh, once a week <laughs> it's all the time it's I'm just getting, a, it's just a battle out I'm there. always getting murdered and injured from every yeah. time I just but yeah. you go they're like I might I'm pretty likely to get murdered because I'm a woman and I'm mur- likely to get murdered because I'm a lesbian and you go if you are saying okay I'm likely to get beat up because I'm like a woman for some guy is gonna just jump me and beat me up you're less likely that you're also a lesbian, not more likely. Yeah, also, women mm. are more likely to get raped. Men are more likely to get murdered. That's oh, just, exactly. Yeah. But if, if a guy is mm. like Bella Clava in the bushes, and he's like, oh, a chick, let me like rape and murder her. And then she has her like, you know, Joey's rugby franchise. Yeah. <laughs> you got her <laughs> baseball mitt, and you go... Are you more like is that guy? No, that guy because is like I'll, I'll get I'll, the next one. Yeah, 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 he's waiting. Maybe, maybe someone a little lighter footed. <laughs> <laughs> Because we'll get the next one. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm getting tired, actually. He keeps seeing all the, all the girls, all the lesbians. He keeps going, you yeah, know is, is that a softball game? <laughs> I'm, not really, I'm not into this tonight. You know, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not in a raving mood. Yeah. Why are we at Home Depot? What is going on? <laughs> That's kind of what it is, right? Yeah. So he goes, you can imagine. And the next one is, uh, because of queer gatekeeping, I'm bi, but I'm constantly asked to prove my bisexuality, and I'm subjected to detailed questions about my sexual encounters. I'm a cis woman married to a cis man, so that automatically disqualifies my queer status, I guess. Yeah, and you go, yeah, yeah, that's what we were yeah. just doing. So we were queer gatekeepers. Yeah, you, we're, we're queer gatekeepers. <laughs> yeah, we are. Queer. Yeah, we're out, uh, you're like that, that disqualifies <laughs> a It's like that you will no, decide no, whether you're queer. Yeah. You're like, get back over it's here. Like that get disqualifies my queerness. It's like you're married and have four kids, and you're in yeah. your forties. Just yeah, just because know. I've never. I think the actually, queerness trains kind of sailed. Just because I've never actually dated a woman or had a sexual intercourse with a woman doesn't mean I'm not a lesbian. Yeah, <laughs> it's like ever, never once. No, well, there and is- I refuse to have threesomes with my husband. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I just, the poor husband's like threesomes. That's She's true. like, no, 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 nah, <laughs> no. Nah, I believe in the sanctuary of mar- marriage. <laughs> but I'm still fucking I love I'm, girls. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, it's gay pride, so you got to be nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> Pride month, so I get what I want. Yeah, stop queer gatekeeping me. You're He's like, queer okay, gate. we'll get. I got a girl for you to have sex the, with. The gatekeepers in every community, just the queer. Gatekeepers. You're making me prove my bisexuality, but th- but like proof for what? Like to get into. Well, something? that's you just hit the nail on the head because it's all they they sort of show their cards here when they go. Oh, so that disqualifies me for my status. So it's like. So it's a status thing, you agree. Oh. So you agree Ooh. that you're doing this for a status thing, and you're unhappy that you're not getting an adequate quantity of well, your status. Yeah, you don't like being the lowest on the fucking like to- victim Second totem lowest. or whatever, but like on the victim totem pole, you go, it sucks down here. I get no yeah. benefits for my identity. I would like something. Yeah. She's uh, like, <laughs> and all it is is she's like she acknowledges that Angelina Jolie is a is a pretty woman and she's like I'm gay I'm yeah, obviously yeah. gay oh, ki- no it's like the classic I kissed a girl there was a good it. article that fucking I got sent that we won't go through the whole thing but it was the girl being like you know I'm in a 
I, I know that I'm like bisexual, but every time I'm with a woman, I'm in my head, I keep telling myself like, no, you're not actually bisexual. You're probably just going to get married to a man. This is just a phase you're doing. And it's like, how do I stop that? <laughs> how do I stop my, uh, <laughs> she goes, that's what, that's thoughts? Not how do I turn off my thoughts? Your conscience, <laughs> <laughs> your soul. Hey, why is this a whole article? I'm not even in the witch form. <laughs> Does anyone know these spells <laughs> to stop my thoughts from telling me I'm straight? My inner self keeps saying, this is gross. Is there anything I can, <laughs> it's like, but like, it's Lesbians. like, we talked about this before on a different episode, but it's like the college thing where girl, where people are like, I don't know what my identity is. And like, if you're just like straight in college and everybody's like, yeah, you know, you're la you're lame basically. Well, <laughs> you I didn't have that problem, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But I, yeah, uh, the last year worries, man. <laughs> but I've talked. People think, <laughs> like I know, I know people who have like they've got teenage kids now, and you know it's like cool to like not be straight. I guess. Yeah, that's but, right, exactly. Well, the, the guys are still. They're still. Not if you ask me. Still, <laughs> <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get but, mad. Me and you just seen him. Danny was getting real mad last weekend when he found out Santa was gonna be gay. Oh yeah. I got oh. triggered. Yeah, he goes, oh fucking, what's next? That's what he said. That's it, what, what he's gonna be a Jew now. That's I mean, what, we, we, we covered the tree and fucking shit. Yeah, and I got that was me when they found out it was going to be a woman this week. I go, oh, mm. come on, Santa's a woman. What's next? They're going to be doing construction. <laughs> <laughs> what, are they well, letting them be doctors now, too? <laughs> <laughs> gay, men, gay men are getting it right now though they said gay men can be just as misogynistic and gross as straight men so take that gays <laughs> gay men are a lot of the time much more misogynistic than I, I, think so. I, I, I mean they literally the find vaginas like disgusting <laughs> and then they just go up <laughs> like, and you, go, like you know oh, the gay guys I've heard they go like ew that's fucking yeah. gross and, and go, nasty go, oh gained weight you know they go up there you go, you're gained weight they're yeah like, they're, just, they're just me yeah they can, I mean like, I, I don't blame them but again I, I would like, be they too. literally find like women at least sexually disgusting yeah. Nice, and then dude. after that, <laughs> yeah and after that there's nothing else to like about them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get like it. At least, like, <laughs> like, at least, like, our misogyny away. is not finding women disgusting. No. No, we, we, we f appreciate them as yeah, pieces of meat that they are. At least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, like, they're disgusting sexually, <laughs> and we hate them. Hey, at least I like going down on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well, they go, um... The, I've had a guy touch my boobs, but he laughed it off because he was just one of the girlies. No, you're a man touching me inappropriately, and I feel uncomfortable. Being gay doesn't give you a pass. Boom, gays are getting hit. Yeah, that's... that's. And, uh, by the way, that is a fucking thing where it's like, yeah, gay guys will be like, to your girlfriend, like, there she is, and oh. you're like, hey, buddy, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. pause off the merchandise, man. <laughs> I don't come around touching your dicks. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't come around fucking groping the dicks that you're yeah. <laughs> Also, if it's like they're on the margin of being gay, you're like, you're not totally sure. And you're like, are you just pretending to just grope yeah. people kind of thing? I and then you're like, look, I, you're like, I'm going to need, yeah, the Andy dick. You're like, I'm going to need you to see you sucking a dick in the next like 15 minutes. Otherwise we have a problem. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I don't come around grabbing your dicks and they're like, why not? Yeah, yeah. Well, we would love that. Please. You, you see me coming around in the bathhouse and fucking sucking off the dudes you're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome anytime. They go, please stop mimicking black women as a personality trait. So shot, 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 shot. What's that? Yas queen. Yeah, the, the yeah. Yas queen. Or girl, girl. Which is like you can't say girl. That was one of them. And I'm like, that's like one of the girl. most used words by gay guys. I think. Hey, girl. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They are just. I'm telling you, man. The gay <laughs> they are just are black the women. Block. You're right. Actually, I never thought you're that. Girl, you're gay men are just black women. Yeah. Oh, you've never heard that? I've never quite. No. Yeah, that's a pretty. Uh, yeah. A few people have made they, that comparison. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Well, it's yeah. all that drag culture stuff too. Mm. Is kind of. Uh, what's up, girl? Like the RuPaul. Yeah, yeah. Just the yes queen in fucking oh, go so. get them fucking. So they don't like when black they're mimicking black women. They go, gay men need to stop thinking they all have a degree in fashion. So you're not good at fashion, gay guys. Stop thinking you're good at fashion. Right, well, that, this is just like a personal <laughs> thing. That's now. what I'm saying. <laughs> it starts off legit, and now it's no, like, yeah, it gets oh, to the by point. By the way, where, yeah, it's like, we, <laughs> yo, it's like we we're tired of seeing all these gay guys like working in fashion. They're like, those are our jobs. It's like it's it's straight up. They're like they're taking our jobs. That yeah. is a bit of that. Like they yeah. go, we, that's my like. I they're should taking, be doing that. They're taking our men on our job. It's, it's straight up like the representation thing, where it's like a disabled person sees someone playing a disabled person, and they go like, "That should be me. You can't do that. You're not mm. disabled." Like, 
We're mm-hmm. supposed to be fa- yeah. well, a lot of the gay guys too. They they do say. I mean, I see this with girls too. I guess both of them, but just fashion people where they're like, "Oh, I'm so good at fashion." You're just like, "Yeah, what you're wearing looks ridiculous." Like I saw this girl yesterday that was really like fashiony at the stand, yeah. and she had like these huge blue jeans that look like fucking garbage bags, yeah. and then these weird boots underneath them. And you could tell in her mind she was, you know, this was an Instagram fucking yeah. You should be featured on it. blogs. Yeah. And you go, yeah, this looks stupid. Yeah. yeah. They, they walk around like Will I Am, just like with dumb glasses <laughs> and like half a fucking sleeve missing on a leather jacket. And you're like, no, this looks fucking ridiculous. You're crazy. Like, no, you just don't get it. I'm thinking outside the box and the box is nice clothing. It was half a sleeve missing on a leather jacket. <laughs> And they go, literally, just let women wherever, whatever they want. Being gay does not exempt you from being sexist. So again, they're calling them sexist. For that's when the guy's being like, what you were saying, where they go, nice shirt, honey. Yeah. You know, you call that a fucking pants, you <laughs> fat pig. <laughs> well, they all think they're queer on for the straight guy, where they're like, should be critiquing. Yeah, yeah. Nice pants, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that is, if, if you yeah, could get away with that, you go. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. If I could just pretend to be gay and just go straight up to my girl. That and is. Like, Some, someone's enjoying the pies. <laughs> 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 No, I'm gay. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. It's not mean. How funny is that to just show up to the bar like as a gay guy one night like you yeah. and your boys? Just could we go, you know what, let's just pretend we get and you show up, you're like, look at this fat chubby fuck. <laughs> and you bum 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 just bullying women. Oh, slow down, honey, or I'm gonna be standing in your footprint. <laughs> Whew, is it an eclipse or did you just walk past the light? <laughs> well, this fat bitch smells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this buck to cunt. <laughs> just gay, 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 gay. You can just yeah, hear, oh, yeah. you gay guys. All, all the boys. Drink. That's such a fun night with the, the French squad. martinis. The bo- <laughs> French martinis for the boys. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you're just all throwing gay as fuck t shirts or whatever. <laughs> gay as fuck. Just walking straight up to some guy. I think, we're, where were we? We were at that, that uh, ABBA thing. You're or not or light as a feather, but you are stiff as a board. <laughs> or as flat as a board. <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, do it again. You're not. <laughs> You're not light as you're definitely not light as a feather, but you are flat as a board. <laughs> gay. Gay, 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 gay. <laughs> oh no! You don't even do the accent. You go. No, we're gay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now we. What's fuck. up? Yeah. Uh, we're two gay dudes. You fat. <laughs> yeah. No, I love his cock. Oh uh, yeah. No, I, I don't. Hey, you're a fucking fat gross bitch. No, we're not. It's all good. I sucked him off earlier. Yeah, yeah, we're, gay. <laughs> we're definitely gay. So uh, just. Just accept. Yeah, you just like open up your jacket. So it's like a little rainbow. Nice two pin. chins you got there. No, nah, don't worry. I fucking fucked him earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, excuse to. me. It's all good. I'm gay. I... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ah, you got you. Got... <laughs> hey, who put on that makeup? The Marge Simpson makeup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice makeup. We're in a hurry. We're in a hurry. I never have the confidence to do my makeup in the car. He's the motherfucker. Yeah, he's just the glasses. He's the motherfucker. That's so funny. I never have the makeup. I never have the confidence to do my makeup in the car. That's so brave of you. Apple teeny. I want apple teeny for me and my other fellow homosexual boys, please. Yeah, those fat pigs will be paying for it. Send the send the check the chins over yeah. there. <laughs> hey, uh, fat pigs, uh, do you want to buy us a drink? <laughs> or are you home, or are you homophobic? <laughs> are you homophobic? We're gay. <laughs> You're like posing Two for options. photos with them while the women are sad. Yeah, we're gay lords. If you want to buy me and the boys a drink. <laughs> I know. Also, I did want to say I compliment you. I, I, I also never have the guts to shop at secondhand stores. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> I always go designer. So the fact that you're just doing fake designer. Oh my God, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I'd never have the confidence to pull off JC Penny. I could never. <laughs> Gay boys. You got a gross ass. Anyways, we're gay. Nice. Yeah, your nose is fucking pretty crooked, eh? We're gay. <laughs> non stop. <laughs> just go right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of. You're not like even like you do the ne- <laughs> you do the negging that like people guys who neg like do wrong. Yeah. Or, like you know where they're told like yeah you want to like kind of like just criticize them but like not and then they but they're so like autistic that they go yeah. hey you're a uh, disgusting you go, hey. yeah <laughs> honestly I admire your confidence to go to a blind barber. <laughs> yo 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 did you just fall from heaven? Because it looks like you landed on your face. <laughs> 
we're gay. Yeah, we're not. We're gay. I fucked we're, up. Uh, we're gay. Yeah, we suck each other off a lot. Anyways, wait, wait. Whoa, one's bigger than the other. <laughs> look at these flat ass dudes. Oh, look at these droopies. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Look at it. Oh, gross. And even, if, but even if they were hot, I was still in like a yeah. Uh, oh, like, uh, I bet your pussy just looks disgusting. Uh, let me just fucking lick it. Uh, gross. <laughs> Ugh. Just as gross as I thought it was. Let me just do a <laughs> gross test. <laughs> Oh yeah, it turns out it's gross. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah, <laughs> I correctly identify that as gross in the first place. Um, <laughs> so it actually, sounds sick to be gay. To be honest, it sounds awesome. Now that we've kind of gone on this, uh, we're gay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to bend you over and then fucking spit on you, <laughs> leave. You're gross. We're gay. Yeah, I'm just having the best sex of your life with this girl because you're pretending <laughs> to like. It. Just walk up to a woman in a bar, just punch her in the face. Yeah, uh, I'm gay. gay. Okay. Oh. Uh, officer, uh, I'm gay. <laughs> I was being sassy. Yeah, it's called being sassy, officer. You heard Sorry, of it? I was yes, queen. You tarred and feathered her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an old gay tradition. She's gonna have permanent scarring to her face. Well, that fucking that's an improvement. Yeah. 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 That, <laughs> sounds like an inner affair. She looks like she. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought she was the child from The Shining. Uh, okay, he goes, and then they go. Ten is I play on a co-ed. Uh, I play on a co-ed gay kickball league, but it's the same as any other co-ed league. Men are the majority, so the men are the team captains, which means the women are always last in the lineup. So gay men don't think that gay women rock at sports. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. yeah it's, it sounds like gay men still have access to uh, statistics. <laughs> They look up, they pull up the thing, oh yeah, they see exactly who scored all the goals, and they go, hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick the person who scores the most goals first, mm. and the person who's the worst last. So the, one of the so things that they don't like smallest, about- Smallest, yeah. you're last. <laughs> one of the things they don't like about gay men is that they don't let the lesbians be the captain of the gay, <laughs> gay football teams. <laughs> hey, we're all about- <laughs> It's a very inclusive league here, okay? Can I be captain? All right, we're not- All right. We want to win. Okay. Yeah, so they don't like that. You, uh, can, you can be lady captain. <laughs> <laughs> captain of the ladies <laughs> yeah, You're captain of the bench I, That was my fucking like but like I used to play like softball and stuff when I was like in college and like ugh, when we started playing co-ed and, uh, you, oh, you're God. like this isn't even fun Co-ed e even when you're children we played like that in, in school Oh it's even worse when I, you're yeah, children I remember I, 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 we were playing soccer and I, I kicked the ball and then hit one of the girls like in the stomach yeah. and she like just cried and we had to like call they called the game and probably off. like yeah they like, called the whole yeah, game, exactly, off, the game then, off and you go and, okay maybe like we shouldn't be doing this and I, I got, I got yeah and they were like oh you're, the you're is, going most, too hard or something I was like are we fucking winning yeah exactly are, are we not winning and most of those girls are like we don't even want to be doing this they didn't even want to be there you're like you're forcing us to do this now I get kicked with a fucking ball I don't even want to be here you're forcing us to just like make us play soccer I'm like, like, I like, if play soccer. It's like if you forced me to bake, I'd get smoked. I would get <laughs> smoked, and we all just got to know these things. Baking, making the bed. If we had a, I get if smoked. we had a nag off, you'd be at an advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you had a nag off, Colin would be like, I, I don't, I don't, can I, I don't like this. Like, can I, I be know. captain? And they, they all go, ugh. <laughs> sure, fucking the captain <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Definitely, Colm earned being captain of the nag yeah. off. If it was a competition <laughs> to see who uh, won't let things go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be, you know what I mean? And then Fuck. you're like, can I be the captain of the won't let things go team? Yeah. My older brother and I are both gay. My wife is a transgender woman, and my brother would never stop with unsolicited commentary. How can how can you be a lesbian if she used to be a guy? <laughs> so this is... I am confused wait, about the whole... Uh, it is a very confusing so this thing. Is a, this is a lesbian so writing this. a girl... This. And she's married uh, and uh, her older brother. So she's a lesbian. Older brother's gay. This woman is married to a transgender woman. So, so, so used to be a guy. Used to be, used to be a guy. So it's two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then her brother is also gay is like, yeah, but I mean, you're sucking a dick, a little like straight of you, right? Is that, that, is, that is. You call that that's gay? Pretty, that's, that is pretty straight. <laughs> yeah. So she's calling you straight, calling the girl straight. Yeah. And then, uh, but and she's like, no, I'm dating a woman. Well, oh, well, this is that's the whole goes back to the yeah. one that's always you're lying one or the other. It's like two people that are together and you go, hey, we're gay. And the two girls, they're like, we're both lesbians, right? I hate men. I like girls. And then the girl goes, I'm transitioning to a man and we're also staying together. It's like, so mm. is she not a man or did you lie about hating men? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> one of them. You're lying about one of them. Yeah. I, 
It all confuses me. Seems like this stuff has some flexibility. Yeah, it's like if you're, you're at a glory hall and someone sticks a cock in there and you're just like, I'm not, I'm a lesbian. Also am I. Yeah, I know. You go, hey, is, there a, a is there a woman or a man <laughs> attached to this penis? Yeah, yeah. It's well, important. Yeah. Well, I don't, first of all, I don't believe in gender. And <laughs> I wonder if there's ever like two tr- trans guys that like there were men, then they transition into women and they're like, hey, we're two lesbians. So it's like, you know, and they're like fucking each other in the ass and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. There's and they're both be. like, we're just two lesbians. A hundred percent. Yeah, there has to be that, right? Well, I, I, there was this, this comic I saw from Seattle was talking about, I think, she, I don't know which way she was going. It was, she would, whatever yeah, it was. They, they, women, they, right? were, they were going, it was either a guy turning into a, a woman or she was a woman. She was one of those. She was either, <laughs> I, I don't know. You know what sometimes. <laughs> this is like a dad trying yeah, to explain yeah, yeah, this yeah. shit. No, all I know <laughs> is. Be like, uh, this, just trying not to get fired. <laughs> no, this, this person was trans, but I can't remember where they were in it. All right. I think it was a woman turning into a guy, but it was like she still looked more like a woman. You met this person? Yeah. Well, I, and you don't even know? I can't remember. It was like one of these Brooklyn okay. things. Yeah, but yeah. then she was saying that her husband turns out that like after four years of marriage, they both realized they were both trans. So they were both transing the opposite way. But they were so staying they together. Flipped. And then so there was a point where they're both in the middle. Yeah, well, I, I think oh one, one of them probably started to do it. Probably and the other go- one's like, well, I'm doing it I, Oh, yeah, I love it. Like, yeah. can I have everything? Yeah, it's like, it's like Sunday yeah, football. You know like what I mean? The hu- Suddenly, well, <laughs> one day your girl just like, I, I, I've always loved football. <laughs> well, no, like, you haven't. Yeah, like the chick- you've, you've, you've not been trans this whole time. But also, <laughs> like, yeah, the trick's like, I'm uh, transitioning to a man. And the guy's like, well, I'm not gay. So I guess yeah. I'll be a woman. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I really want to be straight. I still love And I love you, but you're my partner. But I'm not gay, so. So I, I guess I'll be a woman. It was the guy. It was um, I'm sure it was the guy who was transitioning in, into a woman, and then he was going to all these like trans meetings and and having all this trans community. And she was left out. And then one day he just looked around, and she was sitting there going, "Guess who's also trans?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and he honestly just was like, I just fucking need to get away from her. Yeah. So he, like he does like the full where he goes, I get it. Gonna be trans just to get some fucking alone time. And, and then so she, this whole trans do some movement shit where you're not invited. This I, whole trans movement is just a bunch of dudes who want to get away <laughs> from their wives, and they just put on wigs and they go, "This is worth it. This is fine." <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not cutting off my dick. We get parking closer to the in the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trans parking. Trans parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is, and she and they just like tagging along. You know? And he goes, "Yeah, the fucking, why? Well, you know, I'm a fucking yeah, I'm trans now." And you go, oh, "I've been trans for the last five years. I just I've been doing it slow." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I put on a bit of nail polish. That was the start of it. I did that five years ago. I was testing the waters, and <laughs> I'd love to see what they're doing now. That little couple. The married couple. So that's just wild. That's wild. That the odds of you probably they're haven't back. you noticed they're I back, shaved back to, back to where they started. <laughs> haven't you noticed well, I shaved my beard? And you go, yeah. I go. That's that was the start of me transitioning. <laughs> but what are the odds of both of them? Both of them are trans. What are the odds of do you finding your soulmate getting married and then they go, I've got some news. Well, go, I've got some news. I'll give you both on three. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm trans. What? What are more unlikely that or the fucking guys who wrote uh, the Matrix, the brothers, both becoming trans? Yeah, yeah. I think that two makes, trans brothers. You're like, no, that makes more sense because you go, maybe there is something like biologically that you know what I mean. Well, it's like it's like like um, they have the same DNA, so it's like yeah, it's, I get if they it. have if they both like apparently there is a thing where you know siblings are more likely to be gay or whatever. Maybe well, you're, yeah. you're, 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 yeah, I know. As I was saying that, I was like, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck. yeah, yeah. But you know, there is a thing, so that actually you do fucking that yeah. makes more sense. Trans seems like yeah, to I run in the so family. Like, well, their yeah. mother has a broken. <laughs> but there is no right like genetic family. marker for being gay. Like you can't sequence you can't sequence your, g- well, your genetics at, and be like, oh, you have the gay gene. So in terms of the biology, it's like the trans because people obviously maybe say is. nature versus nurture, and then you're like, but no, there's not. There's not a gay gene. Well, maybe they just haven't found it. There, there is. Well, a, dude, there is an imbalance. They haven't right. looked in the right spot. <laughs> there, it's there, a mental there's, G, there's, well, G spot. there's something going on, dude. Because you know, there's like the thing where uh, there is what what is it? Maybe Down syndrome. Where you can like if you're pregnant or whatever, like mm. early on, they can say like you're gonna have a child. Yeah. It's Down syndrome. Yeah. I know my friends, friends found out and they had an abortion. They're like, we don't want it. It's, it's, which is essentially eugenics, right? Like, yeah. That is essentially eugenics, but you know, so what? They're gonna. I mean, they've had this kind of discussion. Obviously, they go. So they're gonna be like, hey, your kid's gonna be gay. And you so can't. I wonder if people are gonna be like, well, they can't isolate the gene yet, but they're, all, they're no, looking for it. I, I read. <clears throat> I think they'd be I, adding the gene, like yeah. parents in New York, Upper oh, West Side, be having a kid and be like, 
we got bad news. He's not going to be gay. And you go, is it possible to sprinkle some of that on there? I'm, That's the CRISPR I stuff. Think I think they can. Where they will be able to, you'll be able to. I think they can make it. They can designer gay kid. Yeah. It's not 100 percent accurate yet, but they can predict it by a certain time of whenever you get whatever, like certain hormones flood in. If it's like it's like a timing in in the womb. In the womb, there's a timing that whenever like estrogen goes into the guy or testosterone goes into the female, that they can predict it. By like seventy percent or something. That's what I read. Really, I, I do read a Gain lot. Gayness. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's but what about trans stuff? No. This book was before trans people existed. Uh, <laughs> right this is old school. That's science. when they were just do, gays I, and straights. <laughs> the good old days. In my day, there was only. Two. <laughs> I've been saying about abortion, like the during jokes about it, but it's like, like yeah, it's obviously not like the ideal situation to be going to the abortion clinic with your chick. And you know, ideal situation is she just goes and doesn't tell you about it. Like not my business. It's like, yeah, you want like guys shouldn't talk about abortion. It's like, yeah, fair, but we also shouldn't hear about it. Just yeah. get it done, bitch. Yeah. No. <laughs> we're not allowed to vote on it, but we're also don't be looking for some money now. <laughs> <laughs> just get it done. So mm. she didn't like that. And then they go, you cannot say the community is welcoming if you ignore your privilege to cause and cause harm to others. Learned about intersectionality. So this is, you know, your racist or whatever kind of thing. Um, they, basically, all these things, you sort of get your moment where they care about you. And then if you like got if you don't comply with all the other things properly, you're back the fuck out. Mm. Um, they go, I wish cis gay men would stop having biggest critiques of RuPaul's Drag Race. So <laughs> this is where it's starting to be. That's not not imagine be being so cooked. I'm not imagine kidding. being so what? cooked as a lesbian where you go, I don't think gay men should be allowed to critique RuPaul's Drag Race. No, they, they, they always have Which the is like critiques. what? He goes, their comments are inherently anti-fat and do not encourage a diversity of experiences. So they don't like their critiques because they're, when they're Dude, watching the fashion valid, show. Very valid. But they're watching you're it. watching RuPaul's Drag Race and you're like, I'm not into diversity of experience. Well, they're like, that guy's fat. Or, or the you know, maybe they're saying that, yeah, because a lot of gay guys will watch Drag Race and be like, that's not a good drag queen because she's, you know, yeah. really fat. I, I like that gay men haven't like, like just bought into this body positivity. RuPaul definitely they, they're has just like, no, abso no. They're like, absolutely not. You're a fat pig. Get off my stage. Yeah. No, if no, anything, no. anything, they're being more men than They're being more men than straight yeah, cause, men. Because we're being pussies right now going, oh, I guess. You know, yeah, you're out. right. She, that girl well, looks they like just a feel planet. Gay men rule. By the, according to this list, gay yeah. men are the best. <laughs> I love them. It does sort of make you think gay men fucking kick <laughs> Fucking <out>. awesome. Just <laughs> showing up fucking calling people I mean, they're fat. They're saying, no, no. They just are untouchable. They're like, they're just in this kind of... They were. Now they're on the chop. Now they're on the chop. just like, yeah, yeah, fucking a trans doesn't make you gay. Sorry, dude. I've had a couple of, I've heard multiple queer people say it's harder for gay men. Um, no, we deal with all the problems of being female along with also being gay. So that's the second one that they well, ever made uh, that same point. You know what? A lot of the problems of being female uh, stem from like their characteristics. Though. You know, so you actually don't have most of the female problems. You know, a female problem is like having to deal with her boyfriend and stuff. You, oh, you don't, that's you, a really good point. Plus also every lesbian I know is like, they're 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 good. You know what I mean? They're just like they they're not getting bogged down by that female shit. Yeah, some this, this some lesbians are, are like high drama, but it depends on the one. I know what you mean there are some. Yeah, that they're just, just like chill. they're like yeah, they just want to have a, a fucking whiskey on the rocks and they fuck. Yeah, I, there is a lot of cool lesbians. <laughs> I'm talking about like nearly like four comedians that I yeah, know, I'm thinking there. of a but few they, comics out, as you're talking yeah. about it. I was like, yeah, they rule, right? Yeah, 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 they rule, and they're, they're actually their comedy is really good. But you are right. <laughs> they a, a lot of the problems they don't have because they don't have like oh, I want to find so I need to find like a boyfriend or husband. I need to yeah. fucking. Uh, whatever, have a kid, maybe. Yeah. Some of them are, don't want to do that stuff. So there is a lot of the problems. The, the, the dating uh, with men. My boyfriend keeps leaving a wet towel on the bed. It's like, no, what is your girl? <laughs> you're not dealing with that stuff. So yeah. you're very right. So it's not, they go, it's not really gay men's place to decide that misogyny is trivial and write us off like that. So they don't, they don't like the gay men. Basically, it's like, they're saying like we're the biggest victims in the yeah, world. Yeah, they're just gay straight, straight like, jockeying wanna, for, for position. They're jockeying. Victim, victim position. But then, <laughs> I don't like it when they when um, they think they can say dyke like like yeah you're gay too but that word specifically dr describes a person from two marginally communities gay and woman so <laughs> gay men are out there. The crazy the the women who believe that they're minorities for being women is one of the in most insane delusions. It's yeah. incredible. You're like you're more than fifty percent of the global population. 
Well, they gave a quick test. <laughs> so this is you're a literal majority, and they're like, we're a minority. And you're like, I know, but you put us together. We don't need to get much done. So it feels yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. It feels I mean, look at our accomplishments. <laughs> it feels like last. Yeah, yeah, it does. So they did this is one more. They did, and this is uh, uh, this is on our favorite uh, Reddit, the dating strategy, female dating strategy. They're basically like pickup artists, just because you don't know they're like in y pickup artisty, but they're women. Oh, trying to was, get men. And what's it? Just just uh, be alive. We want to. <laughs> we want to have them it's on so, the podcast. It's so easy to yeah, get yeah, a man. Yeah. Well, I don't know. No, they're just like all men. It is a good point. Yeah, Yeah, it's like just be alive. And even then. Yeah, you know, but they're like all men are scum. They have super high standards. They're they're literally like, you know, guys we know who are kind of like, you know, don't have a lot going for them or like kind of not that attractive. And they're like, I deserve a supermodel Mm. who's rich. And you're like, no, you don't. And the fact that they don't get it, they think they're like, oh, they're just women are scum. And, you know, they're... Mm That's these women are that. Basically. Well, someone has figured out how to test for misogyny, so I don't know if Colin would pass this test. But the computer blows up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the podcast. The siren goes up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We have a. Qu- you got you got a score out of a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> two hundred. <laughs> I've never. You're, this guy's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> they said. So this is a quick test for misogyny for ladies. This is how you tell. So she thinks she's sort of cracked the case. She goes, "Great." So what you do is you compliment a woman and then watch for his reaction. So they go, "Hi, ladies." Early uh, uh, vetting. A quick way to dismiss dismiss unsuitable candidates is checking for misogyny. Without fail, a man who has a poor opinion of women in any circumstance will not make a good romantic partner. Often they are bitter, resentful, spiteful, and only dating women, so they have access to a personal punching bag. So is that... (laughs) This is like what they think, though. They go, yeah, like, men just date women just because they need someone to just fucking punch. That's insane. That's That's a... it's, it's insane. <laughs> this is the world that they make it out as if. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, these are like this what big I said bad with wolf. the whole. <laughs> being, exactly. being like, well, this you is know like what? the boogeyman, bogeyman, whatever the fuck. But like, yeah. they're like, oh, everything that's bad is the patriarchy. It's all the time. Punch him back. Yeah. I would love a punch him back. But it's quite the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, ah, we're the fuck. Yeah, so you're bitter, you're resentful, you're spiteful, and you're only dating women. The only reason is so you can come home and you go, fucking look Just at this piece take of shit. Day, I'm yeah. gay, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you fat fucking cunt. <laughs> I'm gay also. Yeah, I'm sucking off John on the way here, so that, that's okay. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 you didn't realize. So, oh, yeah, did you just call that woman a fat cunt? No, no, I'm gay. Okay. I was sucking off John on the oh, way here. Oh, that's okay. Hey, stop hitting that woman! <laughs> now I'm gay! Oh, oh sorry, okay. All right. so I probably it. deserved it. You keep it down, it's 4 a.m., thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you <just> the domestic. <laughs> Don't tell him the cops. I'm gay. Just, just got bashing some girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's good, I'm gay. Mm. Yes. If he's a misogynist, so this is what you do. The test, it's very simple. You compliment a woman, mention how smart, brave, strong, capable. <laughs> they list up a lot. So this is, this is the test. So you're on a date, a first date, and then you just, you drop this. You have a compliment for some girl, and you go, you know, you mention how smart, brave, strong, capable, funny, sharp, and witty a woman is, and then just wait. They go, if he's a misogynistic pig, he won't miss the opportunity to correct your observations. What a pig. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, watching him that's a sweat a yeah. a sarcasm or plain disbelief <laughs> he's biting his lip <laughs> yeah he goes that was really funny huh and you're like um yeah yeah Susan's so strong <laughs> Janice is probably the bravest woman that ever lived huh <laughs> That that bartender was so fucking funny, smart, cool, gra- probably strongest person at <laughs> <in> this bar. <laughs> Don't say it, Jerry. No, <laughs> and like you're just like your instinct is just be like, uh, based on what? And she goes, what? <laughs> she has no what sense. did you say? Uh, Wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you go. Sorry, sorry I misheard you. What'd you say? Get the fuck out of here, you misogynistic <laughs> piece of shit! How <laughs> dare you not agree with everything? Well, I she just wants said. to say like this. She'll be like, oh, I was hanging out with my sister yesterday, and she was like, she helped me carry in the groceries. She's so fucking strong and then you're kind of like I mean yeah it's anyone could probably carry in groceries and she goes busted pal <laughs> you, this uh, test. check please this was a test and we've got failed. a camera there <laughs> we got a camera there. guess what pal this was a test and you just failed yeah so that's what she said she's <laughs> so and also it is one of those things too um, it, it's like uh, where they go it's because you're always like, 
Girls are always up to shit, right? Because the girls ask you questions. They'll be like, this yeah. person's so awesome. And you're, remember this guy? He was so cool. You're like, what are you doing? You're always up to something. It's like, They're so suspicions good. confirmed. You, you go, it was a test. And I was like, hey, well, guess what? I'm testing you to see if you're going to try to put me through fucking gay ass tests. Because I don't want a girl who plays this game. <laughs> well, you, you can't test me. I was testing I mean, you. I was By the way, you. if you're almost. Well, I know any, you were testing me. That's why I brought up the test. <laughs> yeah, if you're almost any guy and you're on a first date and the chick pulls this off right away and then she bought, you're like, it's actually great. Best case scenario, yeah. you're like, we didn't even get through a full date before I learned you were a complete lunatic. Yeah, that's so. Like, he goes, this thing, is this what I fuck? Is this what oh, they no. do? What are you gonna be like? I'm just constantly. Well, imagine, tests. yeah, like you're like, wow, thank you for fucking doing this right away. Yeah, my friend Sarah's the bravest woman I know, and you're like, <laughs> what, what did she do? Yeah. Why? And you go, she, <laughs> she goes, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just the fact that you just are like would like some clarification. It's <laughs> <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> Flip the table. <laughs> Sorry, misogynist, table one. Watch out, girls. No, there you go. My friend Sarah just uh, finished her first semester of her uh, sociology degree. She mu must be the most brilliant woman in the universe. Yeah. And you go, yeah. Yeah. yeah a no, pretty I won't, hard degree. I won't get, get see, here's, <laughs> semester. Here's, here's, here's the thing about the test is I wouldn't get caught on the test, but I, my, but I, I would, would. But I would have a, like, a, when they say it, I have a big... <laughs> That's what you might I wouldn't get. say it, but I'm just like. There's also one a big eye roll. There's also huge, one that, major. What's an eye roll? She has to go back and reply. So this guy eye rolled. What, <laughs> what does that mean? No, I think they did uh, say that in the eye roll because they go, "You'll oh. either this misogynistic pig, he won't admit an opportunity to correct your observations with either a rebuttal, <laughs> sarcasm, or plain disbelief." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Funny. The there's guy a, is being fucking. He can't fat him. He goes. He goes. My. He goes. My, my sister is the smartest woman in the world. And you're just like. I have what? Yeah. What? Yeah. The guy yeah. dropping his knife for the man. He's about. To, he's about <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a major deficiency of this test though, and it's how how hot are you, and how badly does the guy want to have sex with you? Absolutely. Right? Because if if you're like smoking hot, and he wants to fuck you, you're like he's not challenging anything. He's gonna go along with every single <laughs> right. thing. She's gonna always oh, funny and brave. He goes, oh, yeah. yeah, and then okay. and then you get in there once, and then she's like, yeah, she's so funny. He's like, what? Like why? And then like you're not gonna learn really. You, you're in. You're on a date. You're interested. You're like, oh, so my friend Sarah is fucking so. I great. think it goes and you, United and, States and you're like, Marine. Your yeah. friend Susan. Yeah. 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 And you're and you're just like. Like oh, Jocko yeah. Willink, Susan. <laughs> and you're like, oh, great. Yeah, tell me about Susan. How do you know her? And she's like, well, you know, she lifts the groceries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, don't you? It's just one person? It's just one? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you don't think lifting 15 pounds <laughs> is, is, is impressive? <laughs> I don't know if that's really bravery, inspiring in the way that I know it. But like, but it'd be the same reaction if she said like, "My friend Dave is brave." No, and like, you, what does he do? And then, and then you're like, he no, you should do, yeah, exactly. But you should do it the other way around, where you're testing them, and you go, "Yeah, my yeah. buddy, fucking Toby's so fucking sick. He's probably the sickest guy in the world. What did he do?" And you go. Okay, well, someone just got busted for her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, mi oh, I didn't realize I was on a date with a misandrist. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine that. You know, like, dude, my fucking buddy is probably the smartest dude in the world. He can roll the sickest blunts. He's basically an <laughs> astronaut. <laughs> and they go, I mean, anyone can roll a blunt. So you go, <laughs> oh, Ooh. hey, boys. All right, boys. Turn the cameras right. off. We got yeah. it. We got the moment. Yeah, but the first is like, lesbian. She's a lesbian. <laughs> All right, yeah. we got a lesbo. <laughs> I, I, I suspect she's a lesbo. Uh, yeah, you do, my boy. You don't even know how fucking sick he is. He's probably the coolest guy that ever lived. He's got a knife collection. She goes, I don't know if knife collection is the coolest. You go, woo, woo, got a lesbo. <laughs> yeah, so I just got to ring the boys, let them know you're a lesbo. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is crazy that people have, like, a test. Ever. Well, even crazier is that every person probably commenting on it's like, but, holy shit, what know, a good test. I, mean, but, I, not, I think the real takeaway, though, is that just, like, they're just, everybody's the same, kind of, like, you know, you, every they, like all these women think they're like, oh, this is just stuff guys do. Like guys are like yeah. these incelly nonsense. You're like, no, there's an equal amount of girls who are crazy like this too. Right. Yeah. But and also, it, I, I imagine there's gonna be a lot of girls who will bring this up in like, or like on a date, and they go, so my friend Sarah, you know, uh, found the iPhone charger the other day, <laughs> and then you're like, and then you, she's expecting you to be misogynistic, and you're like, well, I hope uh, mediocrity uh, impresses you, <laughs> and then she's laughing. Next thing you know, you're fucking her. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, damn it, he, he, oh, he made yeah. me laugh with the test. He, that would suck with one of these, because you're right. If any girl said that, uh, you know, you would be. You'd kind make of a like, joke out of straight you'd make away. A joke out I would of be it. teasing her for the rest of the night. Going, oh, be, oh, look. 
Oh, <laughs> someone's using a knife or fork. <laughs> Brave. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Should we call the United States and try to get yeah. these guys a Patriots he, pin? Yeah, he, he must be bravery. He, he must be training with Sarah and Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> Just bullying. You would be, you would be bogging them for yeah. sure if the girl ever said that thing. That's the thing yeah. though, because it is, it's one of those things where the girls kind of look in the mirror and they tell themselves all the things they're gonna tell to get themselves hyped up, and then they go in the real world and they're just getting, boom, boom. yeah. They were, they no, were, we they this don't, might but, work on an inside, but, right? But you're just, you're kind of stupid if you're on this thing reading this thing, That's right? True. So it's not, I like, I don't know if I should just tell this, but I, I heard, this, I, I knew a guy who lived with Russell Brand. And he like met this journalist that she was like fucking interviewing him. She's like, oh, fucking, what do you think of Russell? I don't, I don't get why all the women love him. He's like this misogynist or whatever. Like he doesn't work for me and all this type of stuff. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then there's like the next day, he just like, he's like in the kitchen and she just walks out of his room. Yeah, 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 of <laughs> She's just walking out. It was like, a, it was literally like, yeah, a, just a, oh no, he's a piece of shit. I, I don't know who, who falls for that type of shit. And next thing you know, she's just walking That's out. It's like you have a, a movie. She's, yeah, she comes shame. out, she's wearing his shirt and yeah. shit. And you're like, <laughs> she's yeah. like, uh, so that'll be in the papers on Wednesday. <laughs> you know? and, and Russell's like, what was her name again? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was that. She was all right. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I love it. Well, you go, yeah, so if he's a misogynistic pig, this is the kind of example that she says, woman, so yesterday I was helping my sister do X, Y, Z, and she didn't even need my help. She's so strong. Misogynistic man would say something like, really? I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Or why did she ask you for your help if she's so strong? <laughs> I would fucking love like the most reasonable. <laughs> but the funny thing is that question pretty is the most logical yeah, thing. Yeah, it's logical. Well, that's the problem. Article. Is these women hate the logic, right? Like, she goes, he you might to be illogical like they don't want you questioning <laughs> any of their shit and yeah. misogynist will point out the obvious flaw in your story <laughs> yeah. you know, oh, I, I didn't <laughs> she goes my sister's the strongest man in the she's the strongest woman in the world I went to help her the other day and she turns out she didn't need my help and was like so why did she call you for help <laughs> so you went over to her house she's like hey do you mind coming over to my house uh, I gotta carry over some things and then you get there it's just two things she goes actually I don't even need you I go myself <laughs> oh, and, and you're, not, you're not even like pissed that she wasted your time you're like fuck that's what you're the so story strong is. holy shit she's and you're like strong. you're not mad that she like b wasted your day She's like, no, I was just begging just, you. She's so strong. Phone, just begging you on the phone. Please, I, I, got, I got two bags of groceries. Please, <laughs> please come over. Can you come over on Thursday? Because I'll just i never get these home. You know? I would love to see the date where this woman goes on a date with like the male version of her where they're both playing their oh, games. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah. then she's like, women are funny. And he's like, he's like, it's like a chess game. And he's like, Yes, women are like he's like a men going their own way guy. Uh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> women are very funny. Yeah. No, <laughs> the guys wanted to be like she's like yeah. So I was helping my friend. She's the bravest person in the world. And the guy's like, yeah, my uh, my buddy just doesn't have custody of his kids. What do you think of that? <laughs> you know, he'd be getting into that stuff. He goes, yes, very brave, almost brave, like a father who wants to see his son. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And uh, right. yeah, it's like yes, women are capable. So why do they leave her half? Yeah. <laughs> why do they, they take half our money all yeah, the time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think they are very capable of earning the, uh, their own shit. Yeah, well, well, do you want to? Yeah, know? women don't need men. So what about this stuff? Well, I'll <laughs> tell you what they think that a normal man would say. So the misogynistic man says, "Really? That's not that. That's not that big of a deal. Why did she ask you for help if she's so strong?" A normal man, like a good no, normal. So this is what they say. A normal man would say, "Oh, that's nice of you. She's really lucky to have you." <laughs> do you remember? It? She's. She's they want, yeah, they want straight you. yes men. They don't want like they want you to be like a lobotomized. Why like, would you, the, so the thing is her thing didn't even add up though because it goes so yesterday I was helping my sister and she didn't need my help because she's so strong and then you, a normal man says she's lucky to have you. <laughs> you, did, like, you did fuck all. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the moral of the story was like yeah I mean you're awesome. <laughs> the, if if at any time he says you're great, not misogynistic. Isn't that crazy? No. Oh, that's nice of you. She's lucky to have you. It's like. You go, what do you mean? Uh, she's the, I'm lucky to have her. If you heard the story, she's the bravest woman alive and the strongest. She just won a strongman competition. She asked me to come over and help her lift some weights. And then when I got there, she had them lifted already. Yeah. She goes, hey, would you help me lift weights? And then you come over and he goes, turns out I don't need you. She's, she's <laughs> fucking doing curls. No, need goes, to, no need for a spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? She might come into my house and spot me while I'm just going to lift some fucking weights you get there. She goes, I'm actually good. See yourself out. <laughs> You're so brave. <laughs> She's so fucking brave. Yeah. She lives half hour away. Yeah, I love it. But then when this lie comes out, let's say he just goes, wow, she's so lucky to have you. And then like you meet Sarah someday 
and you, and then you like you realize that she can't do whatever horse shit that they yeah yeah lie that's about. the other thing you go what was this whole lie about your sister being the strongest person in the world she's yeah. yeah it's like she couldn't open a fucking jar of pickles yeah she's sitting there going I'm the weakest person ever and you go yeah your sister's been telling me that you were legitimately like, fucking Hulk Hogan and she goes yeah I thought you were gonna be like massive yeah I thought you were, I thought you were trans I didn't know <laughs> what was going on uh, so she, and also this should just be called like hey how to bang us because it, they're sort of giving their cheat codes like of how much but these are like the probably like the most unfun people like women Maybe these aren't like dude nobody we know is posting and reading female dating the no. only person you're getting is just some like bitch this you know like a creepy you know the fucking uh like a you know college kid guy that's like yeah your your sister sounds so fucking strong <laughs> yeah oh my god kid, i hope to meet her one day this i hope <laughs> some of her strength rubs off on me i hope to one day be as strong as a woman <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. And she goes, yeah, the last thing she goes, this isn't exhaustive, but my general observation is with misogynistic men, they may uh, fiend interest in you because they want to bed you, but they won't be as savvy as nice to other women. So that's when their mask slips. So mask. now you have to be nice to yeah. other women too. If hey, you hey fuck guess them. what? Uh, you don't know much about guys because if they really want to fuck you, they'll figure out pretty quickly. But also you know. there's a flaw in her thing too because a lot of women like would really not like that. If Like my ex wouldn't love that if I was like, oh, that bartender was so smart and brave. She'd be like, yeah. why are you on a date with me? You're talking about how great yeah, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Oh, your friends, yeah, your it's a, your yeah, friends. You think you can get a photo with, friend, with that with me and the bartender on the way out? <laughs> yeah. I just want to get a photo with her. Like if she goes, oh, my sister is so smart and brave and hot and she, everything. I go, your sister sounds so sexy. She yeah. sounds phenomenal, and your sister sounds like the fucking Ooh. genius. But I there's no her. way to even like really answer that without seeming like you're lying, like you know, <laughs> like to agree. And then you're like, you're like, wait, you don't disagree with anything I say ever? No, like, you have to say. You, you just go. straight up just everything I say. You go, yeah, yeah. Like, you're a yes man. And you're like. Why are you just saying yes to everything I say? Like, Yo, hey, I got a question. Would you mind if I just heard that story again? It was so good. <laughs> I didn't really get enough the first time around. Can I get a second round? Do you have like this? maybe an extended version? <laughs> Were there some details you maybe left out? Like, yeah. yeah, fuck. Okay. That's so funny. Boys, this has been the episode of The Boys Cast featuring Colm Tyrell. Call him. Tell him where to find you. Hey, you can follow me on YouTube. YouTube forward slash Colum Turrell. Head over, hit subscribe. If, if Wizard of Pod. The Wizard of Pod to be changed name soon enough. Are you going to change the name? Yeah. Colum's podcast is great, though. Just Check a, it out. Just, yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you... What are you changing if, it to? Just probably like something simple. Colum Turrell Time Show Podcast. Gay Queer Hour. Yeah. Colum Tyrell Time Show Podcast? Just Colum Turrell Show Podcast Show. Oh. Time. Show time. <laughs> Hour. <laughs> something oh. like that. I'll fix something. Uh, it, and, Follow um, him at... At Colm Tyrrell across all social media. Yeah, funny Hell on yeah. Twitter. And uh, and Colm's going to join us on the Patreon for at least most for the, of it this for, episode. For the, high, oh, nice. for the high value mails. For the high value mails. Patreon.com yes. slash the boys cast. Um, this weekend we're in Phoenix. Still a few tickets left for Toronto on uh, December 16th. And uh, leave us a review on iTunes. Subscribe to the Patreon. All right. Fellas, peace. Bye. Bye.